folks, welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Pot Monster, the fighting game game show brought to you by Look Alive and Combo Breaker. I'm J.M. Crofts, and I'm here with streamer, commentator, and president of Rollbackia, Sejam. How's it going, Sejam? You know, it's going fantastic. You know, I didn't know the name of the show. So. I always keep it a secret. I, I spring it on people at the last second. Yeah, that is genius. I was like, <laughs> where is this going to go? I had like no idea what was happening. And I'm really happy I didn't know the name of the show. That's uh, yeah, it's like it's like Elden Ring. We got to keep the spoilers. Uh, on yeah, the you DM. open a door and you're like, what is going on in here? And it's like a whole <laughs> game show. Now, say jam. In addition to your duties on the mic, you're also a pretty formidable player in your own right. But the question is, do you think you're smarter than your fellow player? When you imagine the average pot monster, do you think you have the edge on them when it comes to game knowledge? Yeah, well, I am also a pot monster, you know what I mean? Right, me too, a, me too. Yeah, I'm a fellow pot monster and stream monster and commentator. Those are things are like all uniquely put together. So I would say yes, only because of my, uh, my lifetime, my fighting game lifetime of knowledge. I've been around long enough to accumulate Mm -hmm. you know enough information that i think i'll do okay all right a lot of moss is growing on the on this old tree unless here, it's huh? lore in which case <laughs> i have absolutely no hope i'll fail every question i don't all know right. I'll, I'll be sure to include a lot of those well we'll see today when we play our game it's pretty simple we got two rounds four questions each just like a tournament this is double elimination so you can miss one question and still keep going some of these questions are going to get pretty challenging, so we've got two lifelines for you, or as we like to call them, top player privilege. First of all, we got coaching. You can uh, break the no coaching rule, and we'll, uh, we'll give you a little something, something, a little hint to get you closer to finding the answer. And the other one, we can uh, help you out with the seeding a little bit. You know, the top seed, they get a buy in the bracket. So if you really need a buy, you really need to skip a question altogether, you can use that and uh, we'll just let you skip the question. No penalty, but of course you can only use each lifeline once. Mm -hmm. Okay. Makes All right. Sense. Ready to get started? Let's hop into yeah. round one. All right, Sajam, here we go. Round one, we got four questions and the categories are hardware, tournament moments, sound effects, and chip damage. Do any of these categories sound good for you to start out in? Oh boy. I'm scared of all of them because I feel like they might there might be a trick involved. <laughs> We're uh, devious. Uh, let's go with tournament moments. That seems like, oh man, if I screw up here. Okay, yeah, let's do tournament moments. All right, which player was featured on SportsCenter for their What Are You Standing Up For premature celebration? Okay. The player is Washige. That's correct, Sage. Yeah, of course. he was wearing the the Street Fighter Five shirt when he played because <laughs> he's the battle director, and that's one of my favorite moments because of that. It's just so funny. Yeah, yeah, classic moment. I'm sure everybody watching knows that. But uh, where would you like to go next? Okay, that one seemed like a layup, so I'm happy I picked it first. How about hardware? All right, the Age Tech HKT7300, aka the Green Goblin was the official arcade stick for what console? The Dreamcast. Yeah, you're totally right, Sage. Do you ever own one of these uh, these Green Goblins? So this is before my time, but I have listened to a lot of people who've talked about collecting these. I know I know these are like a very collectible stick and like people love the Green Goblin. I mean, just imagine that though, that that is at the time, it's like, oh my gosh, this is revolutionary, yeah. right? And now it's like, which of these 15 arcade <laughs> manufacturers do you want to buy the stick from? So. Yeah, totally. All right. Well, you're 2-0 you're right now. Uh, you're doing pretty well in our bracket here. What uh, what of these last two categories you want to see? I'm scared of these two. I'll go to sound effects, I guess. All right. So this is going to be an audio question here. I have assembled a large variety of grunts and noises and sounds that characters make. And we just need you to pick out four characters. Take a listen here. All right, are any of them immediately jumping out at you as uh, you got those locked down? Okay, I heard Chun-Li right. from Third Strike. I heard Storm. Yeah, that's two. I heard Noel. Yeah, Melty Blood type Lumina. Noel, yeah, that's three. Blood. Uh, I also heard Kazuya. Yeah, the Doria. Yeah, you got four, yeah. Sage. Do you want to guess on the others, or should I just? Tell yeah, you? I'm curious. So, uh, okay, I think one of them is it's another versus character. I think it's Cyclops. 
Is that not one? quite. Not no, quite. not Cyclops. There's one that's like, ha, ha. it sounds like a, oh, maybe it's a Marvel 3 character. Uh, I don't know. It's a versus character, I think. I don't know who it is. Though. All right, I'll just tell you. You got Chun-Li, you got Storm. T-Hawk was the one going, mm. Yeah, okay. Iron Man Infinite actually was the, huh, huh, ha, huh, I had huh, a feeling. I was like, this is some Marvel 2 character, and I don't know who it is. Yeah, Kazuya, you got Geese was saying, do that, do that. And then uh, you got Noel with the with the scream of pain. Gosh darn it! I knew that was geese too. Okay. Listen, you got four. There's no uh, no need to feel bad about it. You nailed the question. You're three and zero oh right now. And our mm -hmm. final remaining category in round one is going to be chip damage. Okay. In the Street Fighter Alpha series, when a player wins by chip damage, what icon is displayed on the round counter? Oh no! <laughs> I'm scared that this is a trick question. All right, well, don't forget, you do have two lifelines. I, I will use my non, not the top player privilege of skipping. But right, but you want, you want the coaching. Yeah, I would like a coach. And plus, at tournaments, I'm going to be honest, every tournament that doesn't have co coaching legal, it happens anyway. So like, it <laughs> There's no matter. one, no one is anyway. enforcing it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we'll get you some, some top secret coaching here that'll hopefully get you closer to the answer. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, it's it's food. It's an icon of food. It's a uh, delicious, uh, savory, salty food. Does that help you out, Say Jam? Um, <laughs> I'm surprised you don't know this. Not not much of a Street Fighter Alpha guy. Never, ever, never played Alpha. Oh man, I really yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go out here and just guess that it's an actual chip like a like a piece or a entire like a chip. like a frito lay yeah sure i'm sorry say jam it's actually it's a piece of cheese oh man i feel like i should have known this actually. because you know chip is like cheesing cheese, yeah they do call it cheese wins i've heard that before too all right say jam I, I i hate to say you've you've lost one and you've lost a lifeline yeah. which is a pretty big hit there but i told you these are some hard questions but you're going into round two you're currently three one is your score mm. let's see how things go with our next set of categories all right we're back with round two of are you smarter than a pop monster say jam you're three one mm. We've got four new categories for you. We got joke characters, we have frame data, move names, and tournament winners. Yeah, With I like. I'm a little worried. Uh, move names is also not my special. Move favorite. names is hard for everybody. We all just make up like yeah. chicken wing, pizza cutter. We just make up names that aren't real. So knowing the actual move name is pretty impossible. Yeah. Yeah, I, those are not our specialties. So I guess I'll start from the left, and I'll uh -huh. start with joke characters. All right, joke characters. Which fighting game allowed you to play as Hornet, the number 41 racing car from Daytona, USA? Oh, my God. I know this answer because it's been submitted for Will It Kill. <laughs> I, I have to sit and think about it. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> I was really hoping for an easier joke character question. This one is a little harder. Uh, <laughs> I, made, I made these really hard. I made these questions really hard. I, I got to say. Hmm. Hmm. I knew that we were having the JM pretty champ on, so we had to turn up the heat. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll go and use my last top player privilege. Skipping on a question, I know the answer. It me. hurts. It hurts, it but hurt. I, I'm sorry. You're going to kick yourself. It's uh, Fighters, Fighters Megamix. Megamix. Ah, I should have known. That's the thing. It's like, this game is so funny, and I've had it submitted before. Like, it's been something that people have talked a lot about. Yeah. And I know Hornet because it's so funny that it's literally a car. But right. I couldn't remember the game. That's tough. But you're still you're still alive. You're three and one. Okay. Both top player privileges are down. Where are we thinking of going next? Ah, that was the one I expected I'd get. Um, <laughs> let's go to tournament winner. All righty. There have been seven offline Capcom Cup tournaments, each mm -hmm. with a different champion. No one's won twice. Can you name mm -hmm. four of the champions of Capcom Cup? Uh, all right. I've, I've got some answers for you. All right. So I will say Knuckle Dudang. Yeah, that's definitely one. Mana RD. Yeah, that's two. Idom. Yeah, then the most recent one. And Gotcha Coon. 
Yep, the second most recent one. You yeah, nailed it. I think it. it was like the first two and the last two I named, actually. Do you think you can guess any of the other ones? Yeah. Um, uh, Kazunoko won the last Street Fighter 4 one. Yeah, that's totally right. <laughs> exactly. And then I think the Street Fighter 4 one before that was Momochi. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're blowing me away here. Yeah. That's that's sick. The, right? the, the very first Street Fighter 4 one, it's I think, is exhibition. unexpected. Yeah, it's the exhibition one, that Sokka one, right? Yeah! Oh my god, you're seven yeah. for seven! Say, okay, this is some redemption. This is some redemption. <laughs> you yeah, got it. I, there was like a time, yeah, especially... Dang, that was a tough one. Oh, it That is was a tough one, but you okay. you knocked it out of the park. Whoo, Sejam, you're in the clear, man. So that, okay. that makes you uh, five and five and one, if we're, we're counting a bye as mm. a, a victory, as you do. Take a bye. We got two questions left in the whole game. Which one of these would you rather go to first? I'm really scared about move names. So I'll go with frame data, which is All also right. equally scary. This is a tough one. Magneto is famous for having a one frame crouching light kick in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. There are three other characters that have a one frame ground normal. And you just got to name any one of them. Only problem is there's 56 characters in the game. So there's quite a few options here. Ah, oh God. Have you ever heard people talk about who can win... The starting the round start against the round MSP. start against Magni or dr they can draw because it's the fastest. So yeah, there are three um, characters that can draw a round start with Magneto. Then it could be someone completely. It could just be like roll, you know. I mean, like it could be something completely ridiculous. Um, <sighs> uh, this is the end. I think I'm. I'll guess. I'll guess Storm. I'm sorry, Sage. Storm yeah. is not one of them. Uh, there, are... Mega Man what? is one. There's Roll. You you were nailed what? it with Roll, and then Shuma Gorath. Of course, uh, okay. nothing makes sense in Marvel too. But yeah, yeah, I would say Mega Man is maybe like the famous one. Mega Man famously, sure. people say he counters Magneto because he trades at round start, which he doesn't that's really. A piece thing to say. Yeah, that's not the the enough to completely counter the character. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm sorry, Sage. Five two is gonna be your final score, unfortunately. Buy. But, you know, just for fun, we can take a look at the last category. Move names, I know, is always one of the most yeah. intimidating things. So let's see. Do you know this one? Which Dragon Ball Fighters character has move names like Hors d'oeuvre Stab, Sweet Tooth, and Excellent Full Course? Uh, okay. Either Fat Boo or 21. or the Those new are safe 21. guesses, yeah. Yeah, they seem like safe guesses. I'm going to guess Android 21. You're totally right. So see, yeah. if you had gone the different order, you uh, would have got one more. Boy, that one seems like it was. That's not so bad, actually. It could have been really bad with move names. I think Ugh, it could have been. Name. I've, I've, I've come up with some other move name questions that are much more difficult. But that one's not so bad. But hey, listen, mm. Sage, you did pretty good. I am gonna say I think these were probably the hardest questions I've put in any of these games because I knew that this <laughs> game was gonna be for you. I knew that you're the guy that you're always getting them all right on JM Pretty. So I, you know, I made sure to have the heat turned up just so that there's no one out there in the stream chat right now that's like, you make this game too easy. <laughs> we've had we've had some contestants go 8-0. We've had mm -hmm. some who, like you, didn't make it through. So uh, you're in good company out there. But uh, overall, I think this was pretty fun. How are you feeling about how you did? It's good. I The exact thing I thought would be a problem was the problem, which is always the older, like, obscure things that yeah. are going to throw me off. You know, on, like, get on tournament knowledge or, like, uh, specific niche game stuff, I feel like I'm always going to do okay, or, like, player knowledge, like, history. But when it comes to, like, those things for older games, there's just lots of, like, little things that are always so questionable. But, yeah, these are tough, and I thought the questions were really good. I think this is, like, a really fun show idea. All right. Well, I, I appreciate you saying that, Sage. And well, I, I want to give you this opportunity if you want uh, to plug anything or let people know where they can find more of you. Go ahead and do so. Yeah, you can watch my stream, uh, twitch.tv slash Sage. that's also my Twitter. You'll also find my YouTube if you look it up there. And uh, as part of this show, I'm doing Look Alive and I have all of these cool interviews that I'm having with everybody. And uh, besides seeing them on the show, they'll end up on my channel as well. So you can watch them on there, including I'm going to be chatting with you. So that should be really fun if anybody wants to get more of you that's not just on your channel or more of me that's also <laughs> not just on your channel they can come over there and say hi all right awesome well thank you so much for being part of this and thank you everybody at home for tuning in to look alive hope you guys had fun and stick around because we got a lot more action coming up so don't go anywhere bye everybody
Folks, I am here today with a very special guest. It's Maximilian Dude. How you doing today, Max? What's up, dude? How's it going? It's going good. I've got something very special cooked up for you today. I, I have asked my community of YouTube viewers uh, a whole bunch of fighting game trivia, some of it a little more mainstream, some of it a little bit more obscure, but we've right. got the stats of how well my subscribers and my viewers know fighting games. And I thought it might be fun to compare to your knowledge and see, are you able to outperform uh, the average JM Crofts viewer when it comes to some obscure fighting game trivia? So I've got 10 questions for you. Gotcha. And we're going to see what kind of score we can get. Are you ready to hop right in? I'm ready. I'm ready to define footsies with there being no, uh, with there being no a footsies, question it's a it low is. attack. <laughs> footsies are when you it press crouching. <laughs> yeah, technically, technically. All right, let's do it. Let's jump right in here. All right, Max, first question. We're all talking about Street Fighter VI lately, but which Street Fighter VI character does not have a special move that is a command grab? Lily, Luke, E. Honda, or Jamie? All right, so we've played, uh, we've played only two of these characters. True. And I am pretty sure from the little experience I have of, of playing the majority of them uh, that Luke does not have a command grab. All right, let's find out. All right, very nicely done. You are correct. And 72% of the audience got this one correct, too. So maybe I made this one too easy. But yeah, this I, also I wrote this before the beta. So, you know, we oh, hadn't God. had as, <laughs> as much or not the beta. I'm sorry, the demo. So we, we hadn't had as much time, uh, hands-on time with Luke. But all right, you got one out of the way. Let's move on. All right, this time we have a Tekken question. Which of these characters was not playable in the arcade version of Tekken 1? Was it Heihachi, Kazuya, Michelle, or Yoshimitsu? Who was not playable in Tekken 1? So this is a... Uh... This is a good question because it specifically says the arcade version of Tekken yes, 1 and they not were the console all, all, version. I'll spoil for you. They were all playable in the console version. Yes, they were. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to go with Oh god. I'm going to go with that Heihachi was not playable in the arcade version and say oh. that everybody else was playable. All right. Well, it was a good guess. You got it right. Ooh. Probably the Tekken I know the least about, but all right, good. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, I feel like Tekken 3 is kind of like the, the big one that like oh, yeah. really uh, started popping things off. Tekken 1, did Tekken 1 not have sidestepping? Isn't that right? I, I don't, uh, it definitely has like backstepping. I have to constantly remind myself that like the Changs have been in Tekken since forever. And they weren't yeah. like added in like, you know, T3 or T2 or something. Tekken and yeah, Michelle was game. there before Julia as well, which I feel yep. like a lot of people don't even remember Michelle because she hasn't been there in a minute. But nicely done. 62% of the audience got that one right. So still the majority. Yeah. We're still the the uh, the plurality are, are getting these right. But Feeling we're trying good. to get... Yeah, we're, we, you're doing great. Let's let's see if we can uh, increase the difficulty a little bit. Who has the most damaging assist in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, assuming all hits connect? Juggernaut, Iron Man, Tron Bon, or Captain Commando? And we are allowing Juggernaut glitch. Juggernaut power-up glitch is allowed. Oh, God. If uh, the, okay, so to, it, immediately it's not Captain Commando and it's not Iron Man. I, I think both those characters have good assists. I mean, maybe Iron Man, not so much. Captain Commando has some of the best single damage output fast assist, which is why you can kill people with it. Um, and my team, uh, when I wanted to win back in the duh, was <laughs> Doomtron Sentinel because they would just absolutely crap out damage. Yeah. So I'm going to say it's Tron Bon because it is multiple hits, and if all those hits land, it's like unscaled, absolutely insane damage. All right, Tron Bon. I feel like a lot of people probably thought it was Tron Bon, but it's actually it's Iron, Iron Man. Man. Can you believe that? Even against Powered Up Juggernaut, even against Tron Bon, if, if all the hits of Iron Man is... Now, it is hard it to make them blast? all hit. Yeah, Repulsor Blast. It is hard to make them all hit, but it is doable in certain combos. Wow. And it is the most damaging assist in the It's tied with War Machine. Iron Man and War Machine wow. have the I had same no damage. Idea. 
Yeah, I, I had to do some deep diving on this one to make sure. But yeah, that Tron does tough. <laughs> Tron does 45 damage, and I, I think Iron Man does like 50 or something. I have the okay. numbers somewhere. But Am I out? Is that it? Do I have to pack Yeah, game's back? over. Game's over. Hold on. Let's, <laughs> let, let's see if I... Only only 30%, only 37% got that right. 21% agreed with you. So that was that was definitely a close one. I gotcha. think okay. that, that one was very tricky, very misleading, but... We can move on. Uh, which of these games came out first, Max? Street Fighter Alpha 3, Street Fighter 3, The New Generation, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, or Street Fighter EX 1? So it's definitely not Alpha 3. Uh, that's that's a bit later. That's like maybe 1998-ish. Uh, New Generation was 1997, so this is a bit later in the, the 90s. X-Men vs. Street Fighter... And Street Fighter EX are the tough ones because X-Men vs. Street Fighter is the third game in the Versus series. The first one was Children of the Atom, 1994. I believe uh, Marvel Super Heroes after that was possibly 1995. And I think the Street Fighter EX, so I'm like, X-Men vs. Street Fighter is like 90, 95, 96, right? And then Street Fighter EX is around the same time frame so that's actually kind of difficult for me because they, they were cranking them out they were releasing like four fighting games a year they were then. it was crazy they, they might even be in the same close to the same year and street fighter ex had an arcade version as well which like the first time we ever saw the game at home was on what playstation one with ex plus alpha so that's not it i'm gonna go with my my initial gut instinct on this and i'm gonna say that it was x-men versus street fighter all right let's find out x-men versus street fighter is okay. correct <laughs> You're with the and majority he, again. Sixty-four percent got this one right, geez, and dude, uh, we were It was two month difference. Yeah, wow. is that not, is that not crazy? Yeah, yeah I was so, feeling like these are going to be close within within like what is this six months? Yes, but uh, Street Fighter Three, Street Fighter EX, and X Men versus Street Fighter came out. It's we're like no wonder and, we're in 2011 all over again. Uh, yeah, no wonder like people talk about like the arcades being oversaturated and stuff. Like it's crazy how many they were releasing. But you got there. All right. All right. Moving on. Another Marvel versus Capcom one. I know you love that series. Which okay. of these characters appeared as an assist in Marvel versus Capcom one? Is it it's Doctor Thor. Let's Doom? Move on. It's Thor. <laughs> All right. He knows. He knows. He knows. I don't even have to read it. Sorry. It was indeed Thor, and it turns out 55% got this right. Yeah, Thor, not playable in Marvel 1 or 2, but was an assist in Marvel 3. Thunderstrike. Yeah, and then, you know, they put that move in Marvel 3, so you could actually use it, I guess. So, all right, all right. All right. The assist, there were some obscure assists in that game, though. There really was, is, like, yeah. Arthur was in there, and... Ruby Hart. Oh, wait, Ruby Hart was an assist? Wait. She's good, too. She tracks is that real? On, she tracks anywhere on the screen and she shoots three shots and you can like OTG after. It's great. Wait, huh? Yeah, she's really good. I thought she was from Marvel 2. Wait, what? Oh, uh, I'm thinking of another character. Michelle Hart. My bad. Michelle. Okay, I was going to say, a, am I being gaslit here? She's an okay. angel girl with a gun. My bad, my bad. That's my bad. Uh, okay, I also know Saki from uh, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. Yep. Was and she's Marvel. one of the worst ones. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but hopefully, oh, with that cleared up, uh, let, let's talk a little more about some some old school fighting games here. Which of these rival schools characters has not been playable in a different Capcom fighting game series? Was it Akira, Batsu, Hinata, or Kiyosuke? Yeah, you Kiyosuke could probably is Capcom versus SNK two. Yeah, uh, that was the big first crossover appearance. Batsu showed up in Tatsunoko versus Capcom one. And Akira mm -hmm. just showed up in Street Fighter V. So the last one that's out there is Hinata. And I, you know, she's like a Sakura clone. I don't think she made it into anything else outside of that one couple couple of games. All right, process of elimination here. And you did get it for all the reasons that you said. Yeah, Akira, they added the five. Batsu and TVC and Kiyosuke and CVS too. You know, maybe maybe a bonus point. The points don't matter, but you'll get a bonus point for, <laughs> for naming them. And 57% of the audience got that as well. So nicely done. All right, Maximilian, we talked about Tekken 1 earlier, but which Tekken game was the first game to include Tekken Bowl? Was it Tekken 3, Tekken Tag Tournament, Tekken 5, Dark Resurrection, or Tekken Tag 2? I can't remember if T5 got bowling. I don't think it did. And Tekken Tag 2 had a myriad of crazy game modes, especially if we include the Wii U version. But yeah, T3 had 
the ball mode, all that wild and stuff. I don't remember playing Tekken Bowling until Tekken Tag 1. And that was like a feature. My like, man, video games have really come so far now that the PlayStation 2 could render bowling. <laughs> the sheer power, the sheer of, power of rendering a bowling ball. Yeah. So I'm going to go with Tekken Tag 1. All right, you nailed it. And, and you are right that uh, Tekken 5 and Tekken 7 had Tekken Bowl. And Tekken 1, or Tekken 3 rather, had uh, volleyball. Tekken but, uh, Ball. Yeah, yeah, Tekken Ball, but no no bowling. And, uh, you know, 60% of the audience got that. So you're right there with them. All right. Only one wrong so far. Let's see. Which of these platforms, Maximilian, never got an official port of Street Fighter 2? Was it the Atari Jaguar, the Commodore 64, Microsoft DOS, or Sega Master System? I think I've, I've definitely the DOS version, and it sucks. Uh, so that, that, that happened. Commodore 64, I feel like that might have happened in some really weird way. Um, an official port. The Sega Master System and the Atari Jaguar are the ones that are really out there for me because we just, not even like a couple months ago, had a big Atari Jaguar night where we played a ton mm. of Jaguar games. And there was definitely no Street Fighter 2 on the Atari Jaguar and I don't remember there being anything on the Master System, but I'm going to go with, like, what my gut is saying. And, yeah, I just looked at the whole library of that system. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me think. No, we would have made fun of it. We would have definitely made fun of it. I'm going to say it's the Atari Jaguar. <laughs> All right, it was the Atari Jaguar. 48% of the audience got that as well. Yeah, you know, the Jaguar, it's one of those things. It's like the Virtual Boy where there are only, like, 12 games or something like the, yeah. the the entire library is pretty small it so. ain't big <laughs> yeah a lot of people asked me they were like wait commodore 64 had street fighter 2 that's the oldest platform here there were some weird ports i was hoping like i was like i wonder if it's somehow mixing up with the 3do because 3do definitely was like the big street fighter 2 system because they actually had yeah. akuma and stuff like that so it i'm like okay no it's got to be the jaguar yeah, you nailed it. You nailed it. I've n I've actually never touched an Atari Jaguar, so uh, you're not missing I, much. I cl clearly, yeah, clearly not not a super beloved platform these days. But uh, speaking of beloved characters and beloved animal companions, which of these fighting game characters does not have a canine companion who helps them fight? Is it Cashon or Cashern from Tatsunoko versus Capcom? Is it Galford? from Samurai Showdown? Is it Giovanna from Guilty Gear Strive? Or is it Strider from Marvel 3? And it, note that they have to be canine, whether this it's is dog, a good, wolf, or... This is, a, this is a good twist question. I like it. Uh, Kasher and Galford and Giovanna are all puppy lovers, but uh, as I know, Strider is not. Strider has a robot tiger, so it is definitely Strider. Oh, Maximilian, too good. Yes, that's correct. He can summon a tiger or an eagle, but, but not a dog. Yeah, a lot of people thought that he summoned a dog uh 53 got it but yeah a lot of people complaining really? in the comments 53 come on guys <laughs> i know a lot of people are on my case like doesn't he, the the legion super have a dog in it no not a just dog. a tiger just a tiger so we're, we're going into the cinematic realm now max uh, known for being very uh good movies video game movies back in the day were really good which of these fighting game movies has the highest critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Was it Mortal Kombat Annihilation? That's the second Mortal Kombat, not the first yeah. one. Was it DOA Dead or Alive? Was it Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li starring that lady from Smallville? Or was it Tekken from 2010? Um, We're looking for the high, the, the critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Which one is the highest? All right, so, I finally threw you a curveball here. Yeah, this one's, this one's definitely tough. So Legend of Chun-Li, I remember when it coming out and it just being astronomically low. Like absolutely tanking so i'm gonna i'm gonna eliminate that from my head the tech okay. in 2010 live action movie um i'm shocked anybody actually watched it i did not <laughs> and i can't imagine that being up there either and doa 2006 was a straight to dvd situation didn't even come out in theaters is that true i actually didn't know that i think i think i don't think I, if it came out to theaters me and my dumb friends would have gone to see it um <laughs> Although Mortal Kombat Annihilation, while being really bad, is also a movie from the mid-90s where the palette of filmic taste might be a lot different and what is essentially okay might be a little bit more okay. True, and it's it's the sequel to a pretty good movie. Too, it's the so sequel maybe... to a popular movie. Although, you know, relatively, I think all of these are, you know, green tomato scores. I think all of them are, are certified rotten. 
So I'm just going to go with my heart on this one, and I'm going to say it's mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. All right, Mortal Kombat Annihilation is actually incorrect. All right, so let, let's run through the scores What's here. The Tekken, difference? 0%. Good. Legend of Tunley, 3%. Mortal Good. Kombat, 4%. How does DOA have 33%? Because nobody reviewed it enough. Nobody Hold saw on, it. we gotta see. Probably some ridiculous No, it's 46, numbers. if you can believe it. 46 uh. reviews. And then the audience is in lockstep. There's a quarter million audience ratings, and they gave it 30, 36%. So, oh, all the... It is, it is a dead or alive movie. I should have been smarter. I should all have the definitely. core the core values lovers exactly. really enjoyed... They 36% enjoyed, or 33%. By the way, 33% of the audience as well got that one right which is kind of crazy it's the same number uh and 31 percent also guessed annihilation so almost like you were you were there with with uh, a very large percentage of the voters. deductive reasoning did not help us out here people had good taste in 1996 as well yeah clearly clearly they knew what they were doing back then when they were picking out what movie to watch but when we're picking out what game to play at evo which of these games has never been played as a main tournament title and we're including evo japan here so is it pokin tournament is it mario kart ds arms or super smash bros 64. so i think mario kart ds might be one of the the outlier ones uh but uh that was my first evo actually Oh, Mario Kart DS tournament with the Toyota Yaris. So <laughs> yeah, okay. The that deep is lore. not that one. Uh, Pokemon tournament uh, delayed our Killer Instinct 2016 finals to an astronomical amount, so it's definitely not Pokemon. Okay, okay. Uh, the big one is like Super Smash Brothers 64 and Arms, and the first game Smash, the the, the first Smash game that actually made it into an Evo was in the uh, mid late 2000s. So those like Smash Brawl, and it was at Evo officially. But, and items were allowed. Yes, it was it was a ridiculous tournament. I remember uh, that. Nothing but Meta Knight and stuff. I don't know if ARMS had had an official tournament either. And that's like recent. That's like within the last like five, six years or something like that, which is which is odd. But at the same time, these games like might have all had side tournaments in some way, but this is like an official title. And this is a main lineup. Main event yes. at Evo. I'm sure these have all been side tournaments. Exactly. A main tournament at Evo or Evo Japan. So I'm going to say that ARMS might have gotten that at some point, maybe a few years back, and I just eliminated it from my head, but Smash Brothers 64 is way before any of that stuff. So let's go with Smash 64. All right, you're correct. You're okay. correct. Good good logic there because, yes, Mario Kart DS was at EVO 26, Pokémon at EVO 2016, and then ARMS was the only one that was at EVO Japan 2018 smash oh, 64 that, oh we were including japan oh okay, okay yeah did i say that when i read the question i don't remember it's okay I mean, we, we figured it out yeah i would have definitely picked mario kart ds if that actually wasn't my first evo i went to yeah that that one got that one got a lot of the a lot of the viewers at home uh 28 guessed mario kart ds but 39 percent again the the plurality, but I was saying people, people might be cheating. People might be Googling. Yeah. I don't know. If yeah, they just it, see this on YouTube, they want to be hell. right on the internet. So you don't have the opportunity to Google. So I think you're doing pretty good. Okay. That was our last one that we have uh, the audience feedback on, but I do, I do have a bonus round for you. Okay. Where you can get up, uh, you, you can get multiple points that don't matter here. We can We've make only got points to make it 10 out of 10. We're good. Exactly. You're sitting at nine points. Let's see if we can get you across the finish line. Marvel versus Capcom 3. Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3. It's a game that you've played a lot. You have the whole Assist Me series and everything. Uh, quite a history of that game. Of pressing buttons in that game, you might say. A big part of that game is pressing buttons. But which characters in the game press buttons as part of their attacks? Can you name every character in the game who presses a button when they are doing a move presses a button while doing a move i'm trying to think of like how to can we get like an example from another game that isn't marvel versus capcom like like what what do you exactly mean i mean like a, if a character might have like a keypad that they press and then an explosion happens or something like that Oh, 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 you mean like not the human side of it, the actual characters in the game. I mean, literally the character pushes Oops. a button. They oh, have an animation where there is a button oh, God. and they press it. Okay, yes. well, obviously one, uh, and how many, do, okay, oh, whoa, jeez. So we're talking about Ultimate Marvel 3 specifically. Yes, Ultimate Marvel 3. So all the characters. Uh, all right, in so Ultimate. Rocket Raccoon is the first one. That's, he actually yes, he, presses he goes, bing, big red yes. button and launches you with a nuke. Yes, um, that is correct. 
I don't think mm. Frank West does. I'm thinking like that might be like the next big one. Uh, does Deadpool is the question. Happy, happy trigger. The cut super. And we're, by the way, triggers we're not counting as buttons. Just for clarity for the yeah, audience. Yeah, so. those those are those are guns. Um, I was gonna say maybe during his his super but he literally says you press the wrong button in his level three counter super the the fourth wall break i don't think that's it i'm gonna say tron bond does at some point i'm gonna say it's tron bond and rocket raccoon that's for my that's right that's all i can really come up with at the moment all right max we're gonna we're gonna run through evidence.zip real quick all right so i'm gonna say that there are there are three who unambiguously press buttons okay. and there's a fourth that is borderline that i would i would give you if if you guessed it but right, so rocket rocket unambiguously is pressing a button there's no he doubt is. about that um modok also is unambiguously oh, pressing a stupid button. stupid chair yes Mo modok it's very clear that he that he's pressing a button um frank west I think he's pressing a button. How are, how else are you taking a photo? Is the camera picture? All right, yeah. that's stretching. That's, that's stretching. a stretch. Okay, maybe that that one also is uh, is maybe not necessarily proven facts, but in my opinion, he's pressing a button. And then Sea Viper as well. I think she's pressing a button when she oh, does laser. because she charges it up, and then to do it, she goes like boom. So in my opinion, that one counts as her pressing that a button. So tough. don't. To me, those are the four that count, but there are a couple that I feel like a lot of people think are pressing a button and aren't. So, Doctor Doom, I I scoured the footage. I frame by frame. He does not have a button. He just slaps the, the there's chair. no button. He just uh, yeah. he just puts his hand down. Not a button. And then Tron Bond, once again, I scoured the footage, but it is it is my opinion that Tron Bond has levers only and no buttons. I really I really went deep in there on like every attack, even her supers, trying to find. Her pressing a button, yeah. but no, she's just, she's just, yeah, one and a, yeah, we'll get Tronbon, you know, a lever and a button are not that far apart, I guess, but <laughs> regardless, well played, Max, y you know, all but, all but one of these audience questions, uh, you totally nailed, so, uh, am I, wait, am I right up? No, no, I we guess got it was the wrong. all tomatoes one wrong, I'm disappointed, I ended up getting a B. Oh, no, okay, oh, you got man. eight plus one and a half points, so, oh. you know, round that up, we could maybe say you got Ten, but disappointed. <laughs>Regardless, you know, for not having Google at your fingertips like the viewers at home, I think you did really well. And uh, I wanted to say thank you for coming on the show. I hope oh, you had fun. You. Um, why don't you let the people know, you know, if they're not already following you, where can they find you out there? Yeah, you can hit me up on uh, YouTube at Maximilian Dude, uh, Maximilian underscore Dude, as well as Twitch. Uh, also, be sure to subscribe to JM Crofts <laughs> and uh, get updates on uh, cool trivia questions and shows like this. These, these things are always really fun to do. Yeah, guys, if you want to answer uh, future trivia questions so that you can be included in the percentage of people getting them right, uh, you know, make sure to hit me with subscribe as well. But of course, subscribe to Maximilian. But you guys probably are already. This guy's a legend. He's an OG. I'm sure you've already pressed that button but just in case but with that i think we're gonna end the video thank you guys so much for watching thank you to maximilian for coming through i appreciate it once again and uh i hope you all have a good one bye everybody all right it, it looks like we're live i see people in the chat what's up everybody this is the first ever edition of jm pretty which is gonna be the jm jeopardy fighting game trivia show i've got my three contestants here dato doya AKA you. the Celery. I, I, I like this name. <laughs> we got Cloud805, the potato. Eh, hey, dude, like my gameplay. And then we got Lotus Asakura, the lion. Uh, hey. right off the... <laughs> All right, I'm going to cover some rules here. So I don't know how familiar you guys are with the rules of Jeopardy, but it's pretty simple. You guys might already know. You got to answer in the form of a question. So, so if true. the answer is Street Fighter Five, you say what is Street Fighter Five? If the answer is well, Daigo, the answer you say who the is Daigo? Must be the fighting game of two. Oh, what? Never mind. I'm tripping. <laughs> and How dare you? The netcode immaculate. Bro, they really <laughs> had some <laughs> random dude reverse engineer the netcode for Street Fighter and fix it. Meanwhile, Capcom is like, "Hey, yo, how about them new Chun Li costumes?" <laughs> Hey, for the cost yeah. of fixing the netcode, they could make like four costumes. So I think we all know where the money went on that. Dude, for the cost of fixing the netcode, they could fix MVCI. <laughs>
Uh, anyway, <laughs> we're doing two rounds. So we're doing single JM pretty and double JM pretty where the point values are doubled. In single JM pretty, I, I will remind you if you mess up answering in the form of a question, it's no big deal. But in double, we're getting hardcore. Uh, other rules, um, no Googling, no looking at the chat. Obviously, I know chat is going to be trying to cheat and feed you guys answers. So none of that. We're operating off the honor system. So let's keep it legit. Unfortunately, there's no daily doubles because I couldn't figure out how to make that work on the app that I'm using. <laughs> oh, no. But theoretically, Sorry, we should be good to go. Are you guys all ready? Do you have your buzzers pulled up? Yeah, ready. Okay, so after I start reading the question, the buzzers are going to be locked out for a few seconds, hopefully okay. until I finish talking, but then they're going to open up. So you can mash if you want, and then... Whoever's the first Pray one you know to buzz the in, I'm going to call My natural habitat, baby. Let's get it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pick a random number between one and three to see who goes first. Pick, I'm Googling. Pick a ra random number, one to three. This is a high-tech establishment. All right. Random number, go. It's one. So I guess Dato is going first because yes. he's oh. the first icon. Krillin okay. players, of course. Let me just do one more check with the chat. Chat, does, uh, this was weird for me to set up, but is everything good? Can you guys hear everyone clearly and see the screen just fine? I'm going to assume everything's okay. So, Dato, you can go ahead and pick the first category and the dollar value. I think I got to go for that season three wish oh, list category. Oh, actually, I'm sorry to interrupt. I forgot to, I was going to read the categories because oh, some okay. of them well, require well, explanation. <laughs> we got FGC slang. We got before and after. We got famous stages. Season three wish list. This is season three of fighters. Keep in mind, we got Evo champions, and then hold this L. So hold this oh, L. I, every I response like will categories. start with the letter L. Do you guys know how before and after works in Jeopardy? That's kind of the most complicated one. No, I, I actually do. don't. Okay, so before and after, there's gonna kind of be two answers that lead into each other. So like on Jeopardy, they might do uh, the star of the Mission Impossible series who can keep your car at the exact same speed for long distances. That would be Tom Cruise control. You see the, the two answers ah. blend together, except these ah. are all going to be fighting game related. So that's the trickiest category, but I believe in you guys. I think you'll figure it out. I can't even hit combos in the games, but I'm a Bardock man. You got a lot of high hopes for my brain power. Yeah, you're right you're having too much faith for people who play fighting games. One day. <laughs> I believe in you guys. I think you got this. Sorry. What, what, what did you pick Dato? Oh, the season three wish list five hundred, of course. I got five hundred. Go. We're starting oh, with the big, high big dollar value. Oh, oh, I, I gotta go big. All right. All right. This character who first appeared in Dragon Ball GT uses attacks such as Blazing Storm and Gigantic Blaze. Lotus, you ringed in first. Oh, who was oh. Omega Shenron? Uh, yes, that is correct. Oh, damn it. Omega or oh. Sin Shenron. All right, Lotus, you get to pick now. Uh, oof. Let me get. FGC slang for 200. 200. If someone is particularly bad at blocking mix-ups, they may be compared to this brand of potato chips. <laughs> Lotus? Oh Pringles. my god. What, what are Pringles? <laughs> that is correct. How are you mashing? <laughs> All right, go again. I thought it was Lay's. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. I might be kind of decent at this. Wait a minute. You're uh, off to a strong lead. My mad get, smash power is too good. <laughs> let me get season three wish list for 400. There we go. Vegeta called this resident of Universe 11 second fiddle to Jiren. Dato with the first ring. Ooh. Topo, let's get it. Uh, could you rephrase oh, what, that? No, 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 he said first round. What is Topo? Who is Topo? That is correct. <laughs> let's go. God, he did say we'd get a uh, forgiveness. Yeah, in the first I, I'll, I'll give you guys some help with that on the first round here. And I'm quite <laughs> stupid, so. <laughs> go ahead and go. pick Dato. This is fun. Hold up. <laughs> uh, I can't get in, dude. <laughs> Let's try FGC slang 100. Let's go small on this one. If you're particularly upset after a loss, you may find yourself exuding this briny mineral. Lotus. What is salt? That is correct. Can we talk about how fast Lotus is on the so he's, dude, The <laughs> reaction. The, the reaction. Slick it, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Bardock player. Mashing is what I do best. Come on. I don't mind. He's mashing it's square like, on the buzzer. No, in, in real talk, I've played Cloud before. He is the most non mashing player I've oh, ever damn. played. He just sits there. All right, let me get FGC slang for 300. This disgraced RB singer's name is invoked when a player wins with a perfect. Cloud, uh, 
Who is R. Kelly? That is correct. <laughs> I actually didn't Cloud got in there with the mashing. See, I thought that, but I actually wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the board is yours, Cloud. Uh, FGC slang for 400. It may sound like the name of a Muppet, but this term refers to someone who pays money to enter a tournament with no expectation of winning. Cloud. Uh, who is Pop Monster? That is correct. <laughs> nice job. All right, that pick a, again. That was a well-worded question. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, FGC slang for 500. All right, due to Sentinel's rapid drop in Marvel 3's tier list, he was sometimes referred to by this derisive moniker. Cloud. Oh, got, yeah, I mean, you got Who that. Bot. That is correct. <laughs> That's all you, boy. <laughs> Ooh, Cloud bringing it back. Take the lead. This man's and, rich all of a sudden. <laughs> and you get to pick the next clue. Go ahead. Ah, oh, man, I feel like this one's going to shoot me in the foot, but evil champion for 300. Okay. Oh. Martin Marn Fan achieved his only EVO championship playing this game. Cloud. I can't believe he won. What is TVC? That is correct. Tatsunoko versus Capcom. My man, KB. Oh, I know. KB is god like at that game. Um, <laughs> EVO champions for 500. This Chun-Li player is well known for his energetic Japanese commentary, as well as being the only player to win third strike at EVO three times. Cloud? Oh, wait. Energetic. Oh my god. Alright, I'll give you five seconds. Oh, no, you got it, big boy. Oh, what's, his, what's his name again? Oh my god. Beep, beep, beep. I, I forgot oh. We're out of time, Cloud. Uh, no, don't even bring it. I forgot. To. Dato, would you like to ring? I, I'll, I'll give you the opportunity. Since I he... I completely forgot it. Okay, Nuki is the answer. That's Nuki. what it was. I watch oh, Club Cup every year. <laughs> that was a hard one. That was a hard one. But you get to pick again, Cloud. Um, Evo champions for two hundred, dude. Daigo has won Evo six times: four times in Street Fighter games, twice in this Rockin' series. Lotus. What is <gasps> Guilty Gear? That is correct. <laughs> Little known fact, Daigo pretty godlike at Guilty Gear. Season 3 wishlist for 300. Out of the 35 episodes comprising the Saiyan Saga, this character appears in 8 of them. Gimme this, gimme this! Dato Doya! Who is Raditz? That is correct! <laughs> Let's go! Oh. <laughs> you, you would be the one to know uh, that You one. already know I'm in there, boys. <laughs> I, was young, I was too young for the Saiyan Saga, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your pick, Dato. You know, I kind of want to see this famous stages category, but let me start in at the 200 point. Okay, so I'll let you know this is a picture category, so look at your screens, because that's going to be important. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. No, there they are. This game stage called Hidden Retreat features dozens of sheep and a yodeling music track. And we're we're seeing the game oh. here? Yeah, can you guys see this on... Yeah. It should be on yeah, the, yeah. the Skype call. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dato Doya. What is Tekken... Five? Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Cloud, would you like to ring in? Yeah. Uh, what is Tekken 6? That no. is correct. No. Oh, Cloud. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, it's either I Tekken love that stage. Yeah, I love, that, bro. I love like that stage. Tekken like, 6 and Tag 2 are the only two games, the only two Tekken games I've ever played. I'm so sorry. I'm tired of this. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> had to be one of those. I was like, that that stage was sick, though. That stage that was, was my amazing. favorite stage in that game. It's probably sure. my favorite Tekken stage of all time. I'm sad I didn't get that one. <laughs> Uh, okay, famous stages for 300. This game used Capcom's CPS3 arcade system to deliver gorgeous backgrounds like the one seen here. Oh my god, what game is this? I'll give you guys like five seconds-ish. I just don't know, that looks sick though. <clears throat> Alright, beep beep beep. The answer is Street Fighter 3 New Generation. Oh, I didn't play Street Fighter 3. I didn't play... Mm -mm. Alright, you can pick again, Cloud. Uh, okay, let's try before and after for 100. Oh, okay. let's, let's start small on this one. This character action game starring Kratos debuted in Marvel vs. Capcom 1 as a modified clone of Iron Man. Okay, so... I'll give you like five seconds. <laughs> okay, so I know the character... Oh, how would I word this? Alright, beep, beep, beep. The answer is God of War Machine. Oh my god, that's how it works? Okay. Yeah, so th maybe that'll help you guys to kind of get how the category works. Because I knew it was War Machine and, you know, he was top tier. But that, I was, just, how would I that, was the, that was the $100 one? <laughs> oh yeah, they're only getting harder. They're only getting harder. So they go into each... Okay, alright. Okay, I think I get it. Let me, let's go for the 200 one. Okay. This Death Fist wielding Tekken mainstay moonlights as a trial lawyer in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. 
Dato Doya. Damn. Uh, who is Death Paul Phoenix? See, like, I, I knew it was Paul. I'm sorry. I, I, yeah, I don't I get how to word it. <laughs> I, didn't, yeah, I don't know how to word that either, actually. All right, beep, beep, beep. The answer is Paul Phoenix Wright. That oh, was not, that okay. so dumb. Okay. I don't know why I, I said death. I saw death in there. I was like, maybe I got it. It infiltrates your brain. I know how it works. All right, Cloud, I believe it's your pick again. Let's get this out of the way, dude. 300, baby. Okay. We're going to get this one. This Rose Dragon Ball Fighters character is also the ruler of Wakanda. Oh, my God. Dato Doya. Uh, damn who, who is Goku Black Panther? That is correct. <laughs> I, 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 why did I say Black Panther Goku in my head? I was like, no, that's not right. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say Goku Black T'Challa. Nope. Hey, wait. I kind of like this category now. All I'm right, you the last two. The first I one just brought shame to the name of Rose. I'm sorry. I let you down. Let's go before and after 400. I'm a, I'm All right. This Rekka Ken user from Street Fighter 2 is also a bald competitor from New York, known for his Sagat and Nash play. This is a tough one. Oh, and there I go. <laughs> from New York, known for. To roll, huh? Beep, beep, beep. The answer is Faye Long Island Joe. Island Joe. Oh, oh that was, okay, I was that like, was I, I knew it was Faye Long, but See, I was like, wait, what? This category is mad clever, but my brain's too small for this. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I like. I can respect this category. Here's though. a fun fact: before and after is the most common category on Jeopardy. It's been in more episodes than any other category, and I think for good reason. It, it's pretty interesting, and the the questions are fun to write. Anyway, yeah, Dato Doya, you can pick again. Yeah, let's just wrap up the before and after. Let's go before and after 500. All right. This shiny X-Men character, real name Kenuichio Harada, is also an SNK weapon-based series. Um, oh, no. Okay, Cloud. Oh, wait. What is Silver Metal Slug? Oh, I'm sorry. Damn it. Um, I should buzz in. Am I right? About you should buzz in. I'll give you five seconds. All right, okay, Dato Doya. What is it? Atomic Samurai Showdown? What is Atomic Samurai Showdown? Oh, you're very oh, close, but I'm sorry. I'm so dumb. I'm like so dumb. <laughs> All right, it's we're out of time, and the answer is Silver Samurai Damn. Showdown. Damn it. That's Why did, tough. What am I thinking of Atomic? I don't know. That's I was one close. punch, man. That's one punch, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the character for one Damn, punch, man. Oh God, I knew it was like... SK Metal Slug Sam flew over my head. You got you guys kind of got right, either wait, wait, half. Now that and we passed that, can together. I look up Silver Samurai real quick? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's the Marvel 2 guy. I gotta see this guy real quick to see if I was at least thinking of the right character. He's the shiny guy. Yeah. Yeah. I I wow, I'm I get I'm getting my stuff confused. <laughs> All right, go ahead and pick another category then, Dato. Let's do famous stages one hundred. Okay, this game's pictured stage is the hideout of the criminal organization Hand. Uh, you guys want to buzz in? <laughs> How do you guys uh, are gonna guess on this? I don't know. This Cloud. What is Mortal Kombat Three? Oh, I'm sorry, not correct. That's you know what? Let me. Mondo hey, I just got a sub. Hey, Red XXer of GCSSB. Thanks for the sub, man. Okay, is anyone gonna anyone else gonna buzz in? Watch. All right, Dato Doya. Sponsored by that sub. What is Mortal Kombat Four, baby? I'm sorry. Incorrect. Uh, I, I didn't know. <laughs> the answer is Ultimate Marvel vs. Oh, Capcom 3. 3? See, oh it's a God, trick because no one picks Wonderland? it because it's not Bone Cloud. Wonderland. How uh, did you not get this right? Because the only stage we played is Bone Wonderland. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the only stage we needed. Oh my God. All right. I think it's Dato's pick again. Oh, again. <laughs> uh, let's do Season 3 Wishlist 100. Okay, this lecherous fan favorite is also known as Kame Senin. Who? Lotus. Who is Master Roshi? That's correct. What? Oh, Your my, pick, Lotus. My low IQ dub brain. Uh, might as well go ahead and wrap this up. Season 3 wishlist 200. This fused fighter makes an extremely brief cameo in the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Cloud? Who is Gogeta? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. He's already in the game. Gogeta's you... already in the game, and also he's not Wait, extremely, extremely brief. Extremely he's in a lot of that movie. It's like 20 minutes. That's brief. At least All right, for me. No guesses. Yeah, then who? Is this like, is this like high It's Kefla. Track? This is a little known fact. 
She's in, she's in for like one second. There's a flashback. She, she must have been in there for like six frames total, yes, bro. Yes, yes. <laughs> there's like a there's like that. a still frame flashback where she appears. And uh, I, that's tough. I'm not gonna lie. I thought you were doing like high IQ Dragon Ball fan and talking about one of the failed Gogeta forms. Like I don't even remember that. That would have been pro. Well, I, I, I was just at, I at I was first. Just I thought it was like the huge brain players like Piccolo or something because technically Pe Piccolo's huge. I'm like Piccolo's <laughs> in the game already. So like I, don't, I couldn't figure it out. I was like, just go oh, take that's in the game. I thought he was talking like skinny Gogeta. It's funny because on some of these, I like I don't know that much about Dragon Ball, so on some of these, it's like I hope I didn't get my research wrong. But That's the chat like, is, is the chat brain. is guessing the answers right on some of these, so I feel like maybe I did okay. Uh, who picked yeah. that one? That was Lotus, right? Yeah. Fat Jeter or Vecu? Yeah. That's I was like, damn. Uh, let's try the hold this L category. Give me hold this L for two hundred. All righty. In Street Fighter Four, Ryu's forward hard punch, crouching hard punch combo is a one frame one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. No, Street Fighter, huh? That's crazy. Uh, Cloud. <clears throat> what is Plink? Uh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Street Fighter 4, reach for one frame. With... What? Oh! 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 Lotus? What is a Link? That is correct, yes. Reminder that everything <laughs> in this category will begin with L. Oh! Oh, oh my god. Uh, right, your hold pick, this Lotus. L for 100. This green clad scaredy cat was given a tether grab in Smash Ultimate. Clad. Lotus. Who was Link? Oh, I'm sorry. Dato? Green? Uh, oh, that's uh, tough. Who, uh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> gonna Were you going to say Link? <laughs> I, I might have been thinking of Link, but uh, who is... Luigi? That is correct. Oh, that's actually right. Oh, Let's go. Wait, I said that as a joke. Right. But didn't he get that vacuum? I think the yeah, vacuum. Yeah, he got the vacuum. Luigi. Yeah, Link's not a scary cat. He's just the first character with an L. I thought of. Yeah, exactly. I thought he might have been the only L character. Let's go. The, tether, the only right. character that I was thinking of that had a tether was Lucas. Uh, hold this L three hundred. Let's clear this category out. This weapon-based SNK series features characters like Cade and Moria. L. <laughs> and beep 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 the answer is the last blade or the oh. last blade none of you guys played last blade 2 no i, 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 last I blade two. never played that <laughs> that game's godlike dude what is a last blade <laughs> okay tato your pick hold this l 400 when this dragon ball character sneezes her personality and hair color drastically change Lotus. No, wait, no! <laughs> Who was launch? That is correct. Wow, you all three were trying at that one. <laughs> Your frame uh, one game is godlike. Yeah. Guess, hold this L for 500. This King of Fighters namestay, nicknamed the Silent Soldier, uses mo moves like Moon Slasher and Earring Bomb. <laughs> Man, right right. Now, That's dude. another tough one. The answer is Leona. Oh no! Right. You guys yeah, aren't hot. SNK people, huh? Wow, she's hot. I actually nah, really I like Kiga Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just dumb. <laughs> I mean, I'm do I'm done with move names. Dude, I should know that. I'm Mexican. I'm just a scrub. <laughs> it's the game of our people, dude. I, you know what? I might have lost my Mexican card, dude. Like, <laughs> they're taking it away. Yeah. Okay, Lotus, your pick again. Uh, Evo Champions for 100. This champion has nine Evo first place wins, more than anyone else. Lotus. Justin Wong. That is correct. <laughs> uh, the Evo champions for 400. The only British player with multiple Evo wins. This competitor is also known as Prodigal Son. Lotus? Who was, who was Ryan Hart? That is correct. <laughs> Damn. We out here. Uh, famous stages for 400. One of the most infamous stages from this game is descriptively titled The Fetus of God. The what? Cloud? <laughs> uh, what is Darkstalkers? No. Uh, we'll, we'll allow it. Vampire uh, Savior. Darkstalkers. I would have said dark, uh, Darkstalkers as well. <laughs> The already know. reason I know that was because I was watching Project Cross Zone 2 clips uh, and that came up. <laughs> All right, last clue here for single J Empty. This game's Halloween inspired level would feel right at home in a Castlevania game. Cloud? What no. is Blades Blue? That is correct. I'm sad. Ooh, Let's Cloud making a little run of it at the end. But a strong lead for Lotus so far. All right, we're going to get ready for Double J Empty. <laughs> in just a second. 
Uh, but first of all, let's check in with the players. How we, how we feeling, guys? <laughs> um, if it isn't about Tekken or Dragon Ball, I clearly don't know it. <laughs> nice. My, my, my little cel- my little celery avatar is about to have to sell the shirt off his back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm running low on cash real quick. Well, reminder that all the dollar values are doubled for double JM per D, so you guys will have a chance for a comeback here with these categories. Nice. People Sonic Fox has beaten. That's probably Frame data. <laughs> guest characters. Kusoge, which in case you don't know, is the Japanese word for bad game or poop game, censoring this, myself here. There's oh, good oh, Kusogays, dude. Yeah, like uh, Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> the Deep Lore and yo anime uh so dato doya in last gets to choose first in round two what clue looks good dato you know let's start small guest characters for 200. okay tekken 7 includes several guest characters from other game franchises as well as this bat wielding brawler who first appeared on television lotus oh who is negan that is correct you're gonna steal you're gonna steal a poor man's 200 bucks like that absolutely i gotta eat out here boy (laughs) I feel you. Uh, guest characters for 400. At launch, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle featured guest characters from Persona 4 Arena, Undernight Inbirth, and this animated series. Dato Doya? Oh. What is what is Ruby? That is correct. Dato, Awful you're series, by the way. I made the mistake of waiting for him to finish reading it before <laughs> yeah, I just I, yeah, I, I, saw the, I, saw, I honestly was doing that and I saw the button pop up. I was like, it's oh, we uh, can go. Yeah, I, I wish I could like manually let the buzzer start, but yeah, you guys don't have to wait for me to uh, stop That's what talking. I've been doing, dude. I'll, I'll finish talking and then just call on whoever buzzed in first. Got okay. it. Uh, guest characters for 600. This raging fighter was a secret character in X Men Children of the Atom. Cloud? Uh, who is Akuma? That's correct. <laughs> Only non X Men character in that game. Fun fact. Uh, yeah, right. mm-hmm. Give me frame data for 200. This character, one of the four gods of Marvel vs. Capcom 2, has a one frame crouching light kick. Cloud? Who is Magneto? That's correct. Of course, you, you should know that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my man's got a two frame round start. Hold the button down, player two. Yeah, I keep flexing. Why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> frame data for 400. Uh, at 65 frames of startup, this character has the single slowest move in Dragon Ball Fighters, but there's an upside. The move is an instant kill. Oh. Who is Android 16? That is correct. <laughs> You're picked, Otto. Give me frame data for 600. The startup of this character's signature command throw was one frame in Street Fighter 2, two frames in Street Fighter 4, and five frames in Street Fighter 5. Cloud? Who is Zangief? That is correct. Why they gotta do my boy like that? Why can't they let him have the one frame throwback? That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Your pick, Cloud. Scrapplers are, especially online, insta top tier. Uh, give me frame data for 800. Normally in Tekken, the fastest move comes out in 10 frames. However, this character flouts convention with his six frame flash. Dato? Who is Yoshimitsu? That is I'm correct. So upset I would have. Not... I'm, I'm so upset I didn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no idea, dude. Uh, frame data for 1,000. Let's get this hard category out the way. All right. In Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, this charge character's crouching medium kick is minus nine on block, leaving him punishable by most characters' supers. Dato? Oh, no. Who is... Oh, dude. Who is... I can't remember his name. Who is... Beep, beep, beep. Damn. The answer is Remy. I hate myself. I actually play Remy. <laughs> <laughs> I just could. I always just call him emo guy. I was, I was thinking twelve, man. I was I was gonna say twelve, but only because I couldn't think of Remy. <laughs> Twelve's not a charge character, though. I, I know that's why I did. Yeah. I didn't say anything. I didn't want to. Bear, I, I was like, uh, I can't remember Remy's name. All right, Dato, your pick again. Oh, sweet. I like these rules. Uh, guest characters for eight hundred. This guest character in Unist is able to blitz the opponent with his powerful two one four B kick. Dato Doya. Who is Zakatsuki? That's Damn correct. It. Damn it. You know, I didn't actually even know Akatsuki was a guest character until Blitz Tank. Yeah, not a lot of people tag. know that. I didn't. Know. I just know that uh, I got beat by JM Cross really bad by that move. So I, <laughs> that move was broken, dude. I burned, I burned that. Collusion. Real Collusion. <laughs> dude, the drilling players, I'm telling you, bro. Bro, they're in cahoots. Yeah. <laughs> guest I'm characters for a the... thousand. Okay. The Soul Calibur 2 featured three different guest characters for its three console releases. Hey Hachi on PS2, Link on GameCube, and this anti-hero on oh Xbox. Dato Doya? Who? What? 
who is Darth Vader? <laughs> uh, I'm no. sorry, incorrect. Cloud, would you like that to was, answer? I think that was five. Wait, yeah, that wasn't it? it? Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, wait, wait. Lotus? Who is Spawn? That is correct! No! I, I, is it even Darth Vader? I, or Darth is Vader's it, in four. Ah, and, that, you, you, you know why I remember? You know, you know why I remember that? Fucking Maximilian. <laughs> 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 Gotta be honest, that was an expensive mistake for me. <laughs> yeah, a lot. You you retired for the lead. Now you're back to last, unfortunately. How would be sometimes? <clears throat> All right, let me get People Sonic Fox has beaten for two hundred. All right, this three-time Evo champion famously All lost right. to Sonic Fox thirteen zero. <laughs> Lotus, damn was it. perfect legend. <laughs> yes, everybody was scrambling for that one. Uh, People Sonic Fox has beaten for four hundred. Uh, this director of Skullgirls lost to Sonic Fox in his own game at Northwest Majors 9. Cloud? Who is Mike Z? That is correct. Your pick, Cloud. Yeah, give, give me that baby for 600. This FGC heel, known for his Dalsim and Magneto play, lost to Sonic Fox first to 10 in Marvel Infinite. Cloud? Who is my man? Filipino champ. That is correct. Too quick. Bro, can we talk about that real quick? Oh my god. <laughs> you want to talk about the fall of a man. <laughs> That shit was rough. Dude, he sent him packing out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> that, that you you want to so see hard. some true despair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What a time. Yeah, right. You can pick G a game, Cloud. People Sonic has beaten for 800. Okay, considered by many to be Europe's best NRS player. This British competitor lost to Sonic Fox in Combo Breaker 2018 Top 8. Oh. Lotus? Who is Foxy Grandpa? A Foxy that is Grandpa. correct. My man. Hey, if it's about NRS, it's got to be somebody else but me. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn uh, to pick, Lotus. People Sonic Fox is beaten for a thousand. Okay, Sonic Fox actually lost to this Dante specialist in MVCI Grand Finals at Red Bull Proving Grounds 2017. I... But two I... months later, uh, Sonic Fox beat him in a first to ten at KIT. Cloud? <laughs> Who is me? That is correct. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't know that, but I was hoping so bad it was you. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't want to say anything because of course like I a, had to put that one in there. Well, I heard Dante. I was like, don't. I don't actually know this answer, but don't tell me it's cloud. <laughs> <laughs> it was me, dude. I just for the record, I did eighty-eight DPs in that Red Bull Grand Finals. Oh Red my Bull. god! Someone counted. I watched that eight match. Eight. It was a really, yeah. it was a really sick match. That's that's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, you can pick cloud. Uh, give me Kusel Gate for 200. Okay. This anime game based on a doujin visual novel was a main stage tournament at Evo 2010. Cloud? What is Melty Blood? That is correct. Damn. I, based on what are you I got, I got some flack from the people that I tested this game with. They were like, Melty Blood is not a Kusel Gate, but I don't know. I think some people consider it one. I mean, dude, they've first to 10 in the bathroom? Dude, exactly. Grand finals? <laughs> <laughs> give me Kusel Gate for 400. Fists of Fire is the subtitle to the fighting game that lets you play as this legendary Hong Kong stuntman. What? Oh no, my, I have no idea. Oh man, damn. And beep, beep, beep. The answer is Jackie Chan. Oh! You guys man. haven't played Fists of Fire? No. Oh, it's godlike. It has full screen <laughs> dashes. It has throws that can do 100%. It's an amazing game. What? Yeah, it's no joke. There's a character that has like a noogie throw. Throws. <laughs> like if you, you mash throws. the noogie throw fast enough, you can do a hundred percent. It's sick. Oh, okay, Cloud, Lord. you can pick again. Give me the deep lore for two hundred. This frigid fighter was killed in his debut game, but his younger brother took his place in the sequel. Lotus, who was Sub Zero? That's correct. Wow, you. Oh. NRS. Uh, the deep, <laughs> the deep lore for four hundred. This wielder of psycho power made his first appearance in Balrog's ending in Super Street Fighter 4. Lotus? Who is M. Bison? Oh, that's incorrect. Dato, would you like to answer? <laughs> Who is Ed? That is correct! Hey. He's, he's, he's ending in... Wow, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, another little known fact. That's where he first appeared. All right, Dato Doya, your turn to pick. Let's do Deep Lore 600. This Dragon Ball Fighters character's color 2 features a black top, brown pants, and orange sleeves, a reference to Dr. Jero's outfit in the anime. Lotus? Who was Android 21? That's correct. Wow, how do you know that? If it's Dragon Ball, I'm going to know that sh <laughs> uh, Deep lore for 800. This luchador from Tekken Tag Tournament 2 is actually Julia in disguise. Lotus? Who was JC? That's correct. I actually played that character.
She was really uh, fun. Deep Lore 4000. Uh, secret characters in Marvel vs. Capcom 1 include Red Venom, Gold War Machine, and This Color of Hulk, who later appeared in Uncanny X-Force number 12. Oh my god. Is it? Go on. All right, beep, beep. Oh, Cloud. Oh. Was it Red Hulk? Who is Red Hulk? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> that's tough. <laughs> The answer is Orange Hulk. Orange. Oh, okay. Oh, I was going to say, was gonna say wrong color. color. I was wrong color. color. Off. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, Lotus, I think it's you again. Yo, anime for 200. Okay, so once again, this is going to be another picture category. There's no spoken clue. You just got to look at the screenshot. These are all screenshots from animes that have been made into arena fighters. <laughs> so the screenshot should pop up. Lotus. Uh, Wait, are we saying the name of the series? Yeah, say the name of the anime. Oh, what is My Hero Academia? That's correct. All right, let's keep we this talking, one going. Uh, we talking arena fighters. Oh, hold on. this might be my category. Yo, anime for 400. I got a <laughs> Wait, I can't answer if I Dr. do that. Doya? What is oh, One Piece? That's correct. Ooh, we yeah. it. Quick You're on the buzzer that time. Me here. You have to have a bash me here. Doya? Go ahead oh, and pick. Yo, Dr. anime for 600. I completely forgot. I was too hyped. Dato? What is JoJo Damn, Bizarre fast. Adventure? Damn. That is correct. You should have told him the name what part. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, don't ask me that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know that yo either. Anime so. for 800. <laughs> what was that? 800? Yeah. Lotus. <sighs> was it me? Yeah. Yeah. What is Kill a Kill? That's correct. I just got done playing Mako in that game. Uh, yo, anime for a thousand. Huh? Dato Doya. What is One Punch Man? Nice! Pulled Ooh, it in what? the clutch. Is, is, is that season two? Because I definitely no, didn't know that's, what the that's hell season, that was. No, that's season one. That's the mole that pops out of the ground. Uh, yeah, and there's and... like a really famous screenshot of uh, the dude's like weird, creepy face when he's digging <laughs> out the I've never mole. seen it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dato, your pick. Uh, give me Kusoge for 600. This Kusoge featuring an NBA center is considered one of the worst games of all time. Oh, oh don't make me do this. Center. Is, would this be considered this? Who, uh, Dato Doya? What is Shaq Fu? Oh, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Who calls Shaq Fu Kusoge? <laughs> I mean, what else do you call it? <laughs> I mean, that's. I guess it's true, but I just... You know, we had different words for what that game was. I, was <laughs> I mean, it's just a bad game. It's, it's just, just really trash. Bad. Uh, give me Kusoge for 800. This, or the Super Famicom game based on this shoujo manga series allows you to do unlimited supers when low on health. I know I've played this. I, I feel like I've, I've seen, I haven't played this, but I think I've seen it. Beep, beep, beep. The answer is Sailor Moon. Oh, oh. Sailor Moon. yeah. All right, last last clue here. This Chinese fan game lets you play as an overweight construction worker, a man wearing a pool ring, and Mario. <laughs> you, you, you lost me. This, this is an obscure been, one. This is this an obscure have been one. the deepest lore. All right, beep, beep, beep. The answer is Dong Dong Never Die. Oh, my <laughs> kind of you guys haven't played Dong Dong Mario's, Never Die? Mario's no, in Dong, 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 Dong Never, Never Die. This game's Mario, great too. I did not know Mario's in Dong Dong Never Die. He is, and he plays like Akuma. He has red fireball and Tatsu into the uppercut combo and everything. All right, so we are moving on to the final clue here. So let me just explain how this is going to work. You guys are going to put in your wagers on your buzzer, but you're going to have to DM me your answers. So that's the okay. only way we can do it so the other contestants can't hear your answers. So just DM me and Discord your answers after you wager. Okay. All right, so we're waiting for wagers. So make sure you look at the other players' totals here to see what you need to wager. Oh, and I'll let you know the category is really old games. I guess I should have oh, said no. that before I asked you guys to wager. Oh, really no, old it's games. Too late. <laughs> it's too late now. <laughs> All right, oh, I wagered. All right. So again, don't say the answer out loud if you know it. Uh, DM me your answer. This 1984 Data East arcade game, considered to be one of the earliest 1v1 fighting games, popularized features like best two out of three rounds and bonus games between matches. 
Huh? A 1984 um, Data East arcade game, considered to be one of the earliest 1v1 fighting games, popularized features like best two out of three rounds and bonus games between matches. All right, I'll give you guys like 30 seconds or wait, so. Do we, do we have to yeah. answer? If you don't answer, uh, you're losing you, the money. Yeah, if you, if you already you're wagered. losing what you wagered. If you don't, I mean, answer. I'm fine with that. I don't. Have to <laughs> uh, my fight money. <laughs> my money. All right. Uh, I guess that's my final answer. Lock it in. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I got nothing. I okay, Cloud, you, you're not. Game. You got nothing. No answer. Nah. Okay. The answer is. Karate Champ. What? No. The... Wait, Never. I've actually played that. That was a really hard one. That. I'm sorry, that was a really hard one, guys. <laughs> Wait, like... I did play that. That game kind of... It's, it's not good. It's not. <laughs> but it was 84. It was a different time. Okay. The winner is... Y'all want to guess how much money Lotus. I have? Lotus! <laughs> how much Zero did you guys wager? Like Lotus wager oh, 500. Baby. Bro, I, a bet. I was so far in the lead. I was like, I'm not going to know it. So why bother wasting my money? They got to catch up with me. I Smart. Really the low bet in. pays off. I was you like, coward. Hey, y'all had to catch up to me. It, was, it wasn't cowardice. It was plain and safe. Bro, I didn't know you were the cowardly mind. That's that was that saying. was pure smart betting. See me in the first of 10 on fighters. No, right? no, no, let's, not do that. let's not do that. Let's not do that. And I hope you got a pig square because I'm coming for it. <laughs> this one no, definitely yeah. needs that courage. This oh, man. Good. I can't hear you all the way back there in second and third place. Crazy. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm in the unemployment line, bro. I'm looking for a place to pawn these. Yeah, it smells like broke in here. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm already peeling off the skin. The stone. Surprise, bro. <laughs> I can't believe Karate Champ just put me out of four thousand five hundred dollars. That's tough. Karate... You could have had it. You bet it all. Yeah. No, bet it they, all. they both bet it all. You're the only one that didn't bet it all, Lotus. <laughs> oh yeah, <I'm> wild. <laughs> Look, dude, it's the only way to win. Go big or go home. I wow, that was, that was fun. That was really fun. Hey, Shout tell me, me, I have played Karate Champ. Yeah, Damn. I'm sure you have. It, it's weird. I'm it's a two stick game. game. There's no buttons. You play with two. Yeah, Two yeah, sticks. Just kind of walk around. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much to my competitors. Congratulations to Lotus Asakura, the winner of the that first ever JM Perdi showdown. But thank you very much to Dato. Peak, you feel me? So what it done? You already know what the vibes is. I didn't even know my <laughs> celery guy had legs. Hold that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to Dato Doy and Cloud805 as well. You guys put up a good effort. I saw a solid comeback forming there, Dato. It just I am, it was going good for a solid That's second. Right, okay, well, I think I'm going to end the stream there. Once again, thanks so much to these guys for coming through and helping me out by being a part of this. And thank you to That's everyone in the right, chat. Boys. I'm actually, Mongo I got way boys. more viewers for this right now than I have streaming fighters in like months. So that's awesome. Damn, that's wild. Yeah, I, I was that's gonna, dope. I wanted to post that on my community tab, but honestly, I was so in, I, engrossed that I forgot. To. <laughs> <laughs> it's no worries. Well, I'll, I'll try to set something like this up again. It's just going to take me a while to write some questions. So uh, yeah, I'm going to hang up the call, guys. Thank you so much again for joining me. And no uh, doubt, I'll see y'all no later. Yeah, thanks for having us, man. Yeah, it was a yeah. lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So what you buying us, Lotus? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think we're breaking up. Uh, <laughs> oh, he left. Oh, oh, he, wow. yo, he just pieced out of the call, which is the what I'm going to do richer. now. richer. All right, oh, bye, guys. Man, it's easy to waste it all on hair product. All right, take it easy, guys. Folks, welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Pot Monster? The fighting game game show brought to you by Look Alive and Combo Breaker. You know, I never tell the guest the name of the show until we get into it because I think it's always funny seeing the, the sincere reaction. I'm J.M. Crofts and I'm here with James Chen, today's contestant. How are you doing today, James? Uh, look, all I'm just going to say is that I have been a pop monster my whole entire life, so it's Listen, okay. <laughs> I, I always say that too, you know, someone who enters tournaments and, you know, you're not, it, sure, if you do well, it's a nice bonus, but it's not really your expectation going in. That's how I operate. But for you, you know, you're you're something of a fighting game scholar, I feel like. Ever since the old days, I've seen your your guides on game facts. Do you feel that you are smarter than the average pot monster? Don't don't set me up for failure here, John. <laughs> it's too much pressure. Exactly. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm we'll keep I'm expectations low. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm, if you keep all your questions 
related to Street Fighter 2, I think I'll be okay with this. Okay, so. excellent. <laughs> we'll, we'll put we'll put that knowledge to the test today. The game is pretty simple. Two rounds, four questions each. Just mm -hmm. like a tournament, it's double elimination, so you can miss one and keep going. Oh, okay. Some of these questions are devilishly difficult, so we've got two lifelines to help you out, or as we like to call them, top player privilege. First of all, we got coaching, so you can use, you can break the no coaching rule and you will get a hint to get you closer to the answer. And the okay. other is top seeding, the number one seed in the bracket. They're usually the first to get a buy. So if you're just completely <laughs> lost, we can rearrange the bracket, so to speak, and get you a buy, letting you skip the question oh with no penalty. But you can only oh. use each lifeline once, so keep that in mind. Uh, and with that, I think we're ready to go into the first round. So our, our categories here, we've got anime protagonists, we've got crossovers, frame data, and supers. So which one jumps out at you as something that you would like to start with? Uh, can I can I have an extra lifeline and ask Nathan for ants? Oh my god, he ran away! Dude, he doesn't... <laughs> the the difficulty of the questions has scared away the cats. Yeah, he left. He doesn't... He's... he's he, he has doesn't have my back. My cat, my <laughs> cat does not have my. Uh, let's try supers. Sure, let's let's. See All what right, have. let's see. Now you're gonna have to name the game and the character whose super is pictured on screen or equivalent mechanic. It doesn't have to be called a super. Um, I'm I'm gonna say that the character is Poison Ivy, and I believe this is Injustice Two. You nailed it. You nailed it, James. Yes. That's that's exactly yes. right. Injustice two, poison <laughs> ivy. So you're off to a good start here. You're not you're all not right, going zero right. and two. That's guaranteed. Okay, okay. That's usually okay. what I'm hoping in a tournament is just not to go zero and two. Oh, by the way, I just remembered I have something to do, so I'm going to retire. On this <laughs> all right, Thank all you right, guys. Buddy. Signing off. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's try crossovers. All right. King of Fighters contains characters from many SNK franchises, but who is the uh, only Samurai Showdown character to ever appear in a mainline KOF game? Uh, thankfully, I've been doing a lot of SNK podcasts recently, <laughs> <laughs> so I can say with confidence that it is Nakaruru. Uh, final answer. <laughs> All right, we got. I'm, I made these too easy. I, I thought these were going to be hard ones. Okay, but this is just round one. Don't get too comfortable. Uh, oh, this is only round one. There's, yeah, there's was like, gonna be four more questions if you get through these four. Man, I thought I was, I thought I was doing good. Now I'm scared <laughs> again. Uh, let's do frame data. All right. Chun Li has the fastest jab in Street Fighter Three Third Strike, but how many frames of startup <laughs> does it have? All right, this one I'm going to answer with a caveat. This is a mm -hmm. trick question in a weird way. Yeah, um, I know there's two. There's kind of two possible answers. Yeah, it depends so on how the, you define it. The original old method of defining frame data, they did not have the first active frame as startup, and so a lot of people said that Chun Li's crouching light punch in Third Strike was two frames. But by modern nomenclature, where the first active frame is also a uh, considered part of the startup, it would be three frames. So modern now, day, three frames, old days, two frames. <laughs> see, James, I even accounted for this. I knew. I put two frames, but it does hit on the third frame. Because in Street Fighter Four, jabs are three frames, but they hit on the third frame. So really, it's right. the same speed, right, as Chun-Li. Oh, cool, cool. So I, okay, I was okay. I was ready to go either way on that one, but you, you got the extra credit. You knew you knew the full reasoning and everything. Nice job. And See, so we're I'm, we're left with just yeah, anime protagonists here. This is, I, I left it at the end for a reason because <laughs> I'm scared of this one. Okay. Uh, all right. In Dragon Ball Fighters, including DLC, there are six characters with Goku oh. in the name. You're gonna have to name at least four. Oh my god. Um they all got Goku in the name, so that that's an easy way to start. All right, there's, I think there's like regular Goku. I think his name is just Goku, and yeah, 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 we'll count that. There's a kid Goku, I think it is. Young Goku. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to talk to the judges on that one. Maybe guess some other ones. We'll see if we okay. can get. Okay. There's uh SS, GSS go. I don't know. 
<laughs> oh god! And don't forget that you do you do have your hints as well, or you right. you have one hint and one skip available if you don't right. want to risk it all on the question. You know, uh, I'm gonna use my skip lifeline because. All I right, did... I think that's fair, James. Not <laughs> not a so. Dragon Ball scholar. We'll no. we'll we'll show the list here. We got Super Saiyan Goku. We got you. You were on the right track. SSGSS Blue Goku. Crazy. Right, okay, okay. Goku Black, Base Goku, who, you know, that's kind of just regular uh -huh. Goku. GT Goku is Kid Goku. It's kind of misleading. And then Ultra Instinct Goku. There's too many Gokus. We set you up for failure there, going deep in the what? anime well. I know it's not your specialty, James. 100%. I was done on that question, so I'm happy with my life. <laughs> All right, well, you came out of round one unscathed. You're 4-0 and okay. right now. You're out of pools, as I like to All say. Right. But now okay, we're moving okay. on to round two. We got a whole new set of categories. Let's jump over to it. All right, we're into round two of Are You Smarter Than a Pop Monster? We got a new set of categories. We got announcers. We got inputs. FGC history. And then Combo Breaker. Of course, this is uh, brought to you by Combo Breaker and Look Alive. Which See, one are you I, feeling here, James? I, j I know, like... You put FGC history in there, and I call myself an FGC historian. So that guarantees I'm getting this question wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to look like a fool. So let's get that one out of the way. All right, let's, let's do, do it. History. All right. The first European to get first place at Evo was a French player named DTN in 2003. Now, which game did he get first place in? So you already know it was at Evo 2003, so that narrows it down somewhat. Right. See, the thing is, I'm pretty sure I know the answer. I just don't remember which one. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm just going to say this much. I'm pretty sure this is Soul Calibur as the, the, the series. I just can't remember which Soul Calibur. <laughs> That's the trick. That's the. Tr I, I will neither confirm nor deny your suspicions, so as not to influence the answer. But we were. So it's either going to be. I believe it's either going to be one or two. I think. Uh, let me think. And and I remember. So two thousand four, two thousand five, was like the GameCube was when the GameCube was out because I remember at one of the Evos we had Mario Golf on the GameCube <laughs> because I remember that because it was my GameCube at Evo and it broke <laughs> because it never turned off. Uh, so I'm going to go with Soul Calibur 2. Oh my gosh, we took a long road to get there and uh, you're exactly right. It is yes! Soul Calibur 2. <laughs> And you know, Soul Calibur 1 was never run at Evo, so that okay, that, okay. that helps a little bit. And neither was Soul oh. Calibur 3, also, I'm pretty sure. 2 and 4 Ooh. both were. Oh, oh my, my gosh. <laughs> All right, so you're... You're crazy, James. Logic. You're 5-0 and oh right now. Dude, I had to logic that one out so much, dude. <laughs> I had to go into the Sherlock Holmes mind palace. I understand. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. All let's right, do what's the... let, let's do inputs. Let's do inputs. All right, inputs. What is the input for oh, Akuma's okay. Raging Demon Super? <laughs> uh, light punch, light punch, forward, light kick, heavy punch. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. That that's an easy one for you. If we okay. if we got maybe if we got one of those people who know all the Gokus, maybe they would have trouble with that one. All right. <laughs> you were you were well suited. Uh, all right, since this is combo breaker i'm gonna save this for the last so okay, let's go to okay. announcers let's do announcers all right so for our semi-finals round here this is going to be an audio question so oh, okay. i'm going to play you a collage of many intro announcers from fighting games and you just have to see if you can name three of them so listen up closely here the wheel of fate is turning rebel one action ladies and gentlemen it's showtime Open your magic circuit. Fight. Nobody blink. Let's party. This is gonna be a match to remember. Fight. <laughs> all right. Did you get all those, James? So you just yeah, have yeah. to name three of the games. Three of the so, games. So, uh, I mean, uh, play them again. Play them again. Or... All right, for sure. The wheel so... of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Go to the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, one. it's showtime. That's uh, Skullgirls, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Fight. Nobody so go to go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Let's party. That's Street Fighter Alpha Three. 
This yeah, is that's gonna right. be a match to remember. Fight! And that's uh, Capcom versus SNK two. <laughs> all right, all right. Skullgirls Alpha three, CVS two. You got them. The other so, ones were we had Melty Blood type Lumina, oh, and okay. we had Blaze Blue was the first one. The Wheel of Fate yeah. is turning. I so again, the gotten, anime, the anime coming yeah, up is a bit the of a thing is, I would have gotten the Blaze Blue one, but I totally would have gotten the Melty Blood one wrong. For some, yeah. I, almost, I almost was like, if you had to have me name all five, I might have said Undernight in birth and i would have uh right. i would have crashed and burned on that one okay good <laughs> james i don't know what to say you're here at the grand finals and you you're still in winner's side so really there's nothing that can go wrong here even if you get this wrong you're making it out of this in one piece so our final <laughs> remaining category what's that you know what's gonna happen though i'm gonna get this wrong and Rick is going to be like, oh, really, James? And then <laughs> I'm fired from Combo Breaker. <laughs> All right. There's a lot on the line for this one. Right. Career, careers could be made or broken. Uh, Let's see the final question. After the last offline Combo Breaker tournament in 2019, which player got first place in Undernight Inbirth EXE latest and then went on to win EVO as well that year? So they won Undernight at Combo Breaker 2019, and then they won... Evo 2019 in Undernight Inbirth EXE latest. Like, I have a guess, but I feel like I should use the hint anyway. True. Uh, I mean, I have the hint. What's, you may what's as your well. hint? All right. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go to our, our crack group of coaches here and come up with a hint <laughs> here, which is... Uh... He has like a, like a lighting fixture in his name, like, a, like one of those things you use to light your house. He's named oh, after it. Okay, okay. I might have actually gotten this one wrong. Uh, now I do know who the answer is, but I don't remember their full name. Mm, that's the truth. Oh, wait. I think I got it. I think I remembered what uh -huh. it was. It's Clear Lamp, right? It's totally Clear Lamp. Yes. Correct, correct. <laughs> A perfect I score. <laughs> Eight and O. Oh. Well, seven and O oh if you don't count a bye as yeah. a win. But in a tournament, a bye counts as a win. So that <laughs> that totally counts. Oh, I totally I almost got this one wrong. If I didn't go for the hit, clearly I'm okay. Thank you for the hint. Thank you, hey, coaches. Well, thank you, you, you coaches. Yeah, exactly. This is why, you know, coaches can make a big difference in fighting games as well. It's important. But James, what can I say? Eight questions up, eight questions down. I'm impressed. How do you feel with your result? Is, is this what you were hoping for? Dude, I am, I, I am actually strangely really proud of my logicking <laughs> out the Soul Calibur. The Soul Calibur, you know, that was, that was one for the ages. That was impressive for sure. Well, extremely well played, James. Mm -hmm. And I just want to give you this opportunity. If there's anything you want to shout out, tell people where they can find you. Go ahead and do so. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you want to learn more about fighting game history, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, I'm on Jay Chenzor at everything, J-C-H-E-N-S-O-R, on Twitter, on Twitch as well. On YouTube, most of my content is on Ultra Chen TV, and I do also stream on Ultra Chen TV as well for the Tuesday show and such. Oh, you can also find me on Instagram.com slash Jay Chenzor if you want to see more pictures of my cats, because that's all I post on there. Right. All right. I mean, who doesn't love a good cat picture? That's for sure. Well, thank you so much for uh, agreeing to be a contestant, James. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate all you guys at home for tuning in to Look Alive and watching our show. I hope you enjoy the rest of everything that's on offer today. Don't touch that dial. And uh, peace out, everybody. Bye. What's up, guys? We are here with episode two of JM Pretty. We're back after... <laughs> A bunch of technical difficulties. We got it going. We got three exciting contestants with us today that I'll introduce here. We have Lord Knight. We have yep. Say Jam. And we have Lotus Asakura, the returning champ. Yeah. <laughs> I totally, to I felt like maybe saying. you guys were going to say something, but then I just cut you off <laughs> <Yeah>. completely mercilessly. <laughs> Lord Knight was mad delayed. I guess since he took so long, he was like, I'm just not going to be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as soon as I heard that, I was like, I'm not. I know, you're just like, I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> no. I, was like, no. I was like, it's over. All right, so here's the rules. Just like Jeopardy, you have to answer in the form of a question. So if the answer is Street Fighter, you say, what is Street Fighter? Uh, in the first round, I'm going to be lenient. If you mess that up, I'll remind you. But second round, I'm going to be a little bit tougher and enforce it. By the way, there's two rounds. Second round, points values are doubled. 
No Googling, no reading stream chat. I know that you guys are honorable. You would never do that, so we don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few changes since the first episode of J Emperty. For one, uh, we have daily doubles now. There's going to be oh, one shit. daily double in round one and two in round two. Uh, the, the software doesn't support it, so I have to manually do it. When you guys pick a daily double, I'll tell you, and then we'll get your wager and all that stuff. Uh, I think that is pretty much it. Oh, that and the prize. There's a prize too, which is new for this what? time. Uh. It's nothing exciting. I'll just whoever wins, I'll gift five subs to your channel. How does oh, that time. sound? Hey, that's a prize, hey dude. five subs is five subs. That's that's a prize. <laughs> that is technically a prize. If you look it up in the dictionary, you'll find it there. So, mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty much it for the rules. Let's jump into our categories for round one. We've got FGC memes. We've got where are they from, where were you from, valuable inputs, nicknames and handles, and then pieces of eight. So a few of these categories will require explanation, but I'll do that when you call on them. Uh, Lotus being the returning champ, you get first pick. You all have your buzzers ready? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Where do you want to start, Lotus? Uh, okay. FGC memes for 200. Let's start off small. This controversial player was forced to wash the taste of defeat out of his mouth after famously losing to Viscant. Lotus? Who is low tier god? That is correct. Go ahead and pick again. Uh, FGC memes for 100. According to the meme, this character's theme really does go with everything. Lord Knight? <laughs> Has to be Gal. What is Gal for hundred? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> you remember mashing the buzzer oh, so hard. All right, Lord Knight, pick the next clue here. Um, let's go with where were you from for four hundred? All righty. Eagle-eyed viewers will spot Ryu in the background of this 2012 DreamWorks animated film. Say Jam. What is Wreck It Ralph? That is correct. Nice work. Wow. I've never seen it. I haven't <laughs> oh either, but I, that's why I was so slow to it. Uh, I just know the Zangief is not bad guy. Uh, that's the only thing I've seen. Uh, let's go Where Are You From for 100. Ryu made his platform fighter debut in the Wii Ryu release of this franchise. Lotus. <laughs> what is Super Smash Bros. Wii U? Uh, yeah, Super Smash Bros. generally will allow it. Go ahead and uh, valuable inputs for a hundred. Named for Sagat's special move in Street Fighter Two, this technique refers to entering a jump input at the end of a special move. Lord Knight, what is Tiger Knee? That is correct. Yeah, every, every trunk's put on the planet. Know that one. <laughs> <laughs> Mashing that buzzer, I was like, "Come on, man!" <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh... Okay. What is valuable inputs for 500? <laughs> you don't have to say what, what is before the clue, but oh I'll, my God, I'm I'll so allow sorry. It. He's getting in the habit. Yeah. This fighting game franchise features Vatista, a character who uses unusual charge forward and charge up inputs for her special moves. Lord Knight? What is Under Knight Inverse? Yep, that is correct. Yeah. <laughs> you put Eunice. <laughs> yeah. What is... I keep doing that. <laughs> Nicknames and handles for 100. All right. Totally. Dominique McLean has been mopping up tournaments for years under this handle. Say Jam. How did I lose that? Who is Sonic Fox? That is correct. Nice work. I'm too slow today. Someone clip uh... that. <laughs> Can we just have Say Jam saying that on a clip? Yo, <laughs> uh, chat, you heard him. What is, let's do where are they from for 100. Oh, I forgot to explain the category. Uh, so I'm going to give you the character. You tell me where they're from. Blanca from Street Fighter 2. Lord Knight? What is Brazil? Uh, that is correct. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, literally. We're, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to explain it before yeah, we clicked on the clue. I was I like, I he's from Street Fighter 2. What you mean? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what you mean? Where are they from for 400? Magneto from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Wow, none of us know. Sage. Oh, Sage knows. Where's Germany? That is correct. Very clutch. Nice work. He's smoking it. Uh, let's do where are they from 500? Jiren from Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, they're mashing. <laughs> Lord Knight. 
No. What is Universe Six? Oh, I'm sorry. It's, oh that no, that's why I get to watch the anime. Damn. Where is Universe Eleven? That oh, is correct. Oh, nice. Oh, work. I thought for oh, sure you were thinking a hit or something. Yeah. <laughs> the, the weebs. <laughs> the weebs are out there getting mad at LK. I'm I'm just, just, oh, oh the pride so jobbers. Crazy. You gotta remember where they're from. <laughs> yeah. My level's too low. Uh, let's do. Where are they from? Two hundred. Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury. Oh. Sorry, the, the delay on the buzzer. <laughs> Lord Knight. What is America? That is correct. Okay. Yeah, I, <laughs> I had to assume. He seemed too all American, right? I was like, he definitely did. Between the trucker hat and like the ripped vest and just the jeans. What is Missouri? Yeah, he had to be American. What is Kansas City? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do valuable inputs for 400. Okay. Crouch tech is an example of this technique, executing a single series of inputs that can result in multiple outcomes depending on what the opponent does. Say jam. What is an option select? Uh, I'm that so is correct. Slow, bro. I, I, <laughs> so much, I actually know most of these God. today. I can't click fast enough. Uh, we'll do valuable inputs 200. The input for Geese Howard's infamous raging storm is often compared to this salty snack. Say jam. What is a pretzel? That is correct. Oh, SNK crescents don't count. Yeah, they're cheating. <laughs> Valuable inputs for three hundred. Uh, you guys can't hear it, but we just got a sound effect. That is a daily double. No, oh, so say jam. Oh, you can wager any amount up to two thousand, and you're going to be the only one who gets to answer this clue. Uh, Five hundred. Five hundred. Okay. This two-word term means performing a special move by releasing What a is button. negative edge? <laughs> that is correct. So you get the three. Oh, man, I should have bet two. so much money. Oh, oh my god, Sage. All right, uh, you can pick again. Getting smoked. I'll do nicknames and handles for 200. Bruce Yulin Xiang, well known for his Adon and Elena play, is better known by this handle. Lord Knight. Damn it. Who is Gamer B? That is correct. Yeah. I apologize for my horrible pronunciation. All right. Nicknames and handles for 500. What? Big baller. Okay. Justin Wong is sometimes known by this astonishing nickname. It's Lotus. What is Jay Wong? Ooh, I'm sorry. Say Jay. <laughs> what is the marvelous one? Uh, we'll allow it. Mar Justin Marvelous oh, okay. Wong. Marvelous the Marvelous Wong, one. Yeah. That was a little I, risky. I'm not gonna lie. I've never heard that. that that's time. why that was for 500. I haven't heard that one for a while. That's a classic. Yeah, it's a good. That's one. a classic. That's that a classic. Way, he was going by that during Marvel too, because I never heard that shit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't even really like use, get used that much in Marvel three, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, nicknames and handles 300. Daigo Umehara is also known by this animalistic nickname. Lord Knight. Damn. What is the beast? <laughs> that is correct. With Man, extra I'm emphasis. Yeah, I definitely missed my double tap on the buzzer. I just, my hand like flew <laughs> off my mouse. I was like, no! You're double tap. That's why you tell you don't play Dragon Ball, dude. I got my auto You're trying to hit the one frame link. I tried to double tap it, bro. I was like, I right, tried to plink the mouse. <laughs> yeah, I plinked it. I clicked right to left. I was like, come on, bro. Let's do FGC memes for 400. All right. When someone lands a throw, yipes can often be heard talking about scoops of this ice cream brand, Lord Knight. What is Hagen dazs That is correct. Oh, we are in there. Damn. Uh, let us do FGC memes for 300. According to the meme, to truly master Super Smash Brothers, you must play with no items, Fox only, on this stage. Lord Knight? What is Final Destination? That is correct. We smash her. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> FGC means for the smash question, and thank you so much. FGC means for 500. Despite the running meme, this character added in SF4 Arcade Edition was never actually banned from tournaments. Say Jam? Who is Oni? That is correct. Dude, Smoke me. Have you got, <laughs> I, I don't no think idea. you guys have missed a, a single one so far. This is incredible. <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe I made the questions exactly easier. how I expected. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, how about where are they from, 300? All right. King from Tekken, not from KOF. Where's Stacey Steve? Say Jam. Me where's Mexico? That is correct. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> you know, uh, I figured he was like a luchador kind of. Yeah, like, yeah. Worth, worth. 
Tasty Steve would be so proud of me. Uh, can I do nicknames and handles 400? All right. Before he became Tio, Alex Via entered tournaments under this handle. Oh. Lord Knight. What is Cali Power? That is correct. He's going to murder me. I tried so hard. <laughs> You're from SoCal. That's I know. Crazy. I was smashing. I'm from East Coast. I was smashing. I was smashing. <laughs> uh, let's do pieces of eight for 100. All right. In numpad notation, the number eight refers to this direction. Lord Knight. What is jump or up? Yes. Yes. Okay, they both you. count. Nice work. Oh, sick. I Look at this you. overachiever looking at yeah, Two oh, answers, man. bruh. I must. I must. It must be done. Let's do a piece of eight for 400. Canada Cup once locked HD quality viewing behind a paywall with this notorious price. Lord Knight. What is eight ninety five? That is correct. This is the best game ever. That was a good, that was a good question. I love this yeah. game. Yeah. Uh, I see how this category works now. <laughs> yeah, they all have to do with the number eight. That's the uh, the premise of the category. Uh, let's do pieces of eight for three hundred this time. This twenty sixteen fighting game was criticized for having eight frames of input delay. Stay jam. No. What is Street Fighter Five? That's right, baby. SF Five. <laughs> <That's my boy. laughs> Street Fighter uh, Five wasn't that bad at launch, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they say a lot of things like that. Uh, let's do pieces of eight two hundred. All right. A signature feature of the Soul Calibur series is this movement system. Lord Knight. What is eight way run? That is correct. Yeah. It's funny when there's ones that don't take that long to read. I can just hear the mashing coming yeah, through the yeah, I'm mashing. I'm, I'm like, come on, man. So uh, let's do pieces of eight for 500. This crossover title was the eighth mainline entry in the Mortal Kombat series before the franchise was rebooted with MK9 in 2011. Lord Knight. What is MK versus DC? Yeah, I think we'll allow that. MK versus God, DC no. Universe. God, I, I didn't know. Was I that Deception? Know. I, no, I, I Deception was no seven. Deception yeah. was on the PS2. <laughs> those, none of those Mortal Kombat games count. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's games one, two, three, and count. nine. Those are the... Yeah, that's it. That's, that's pretty it. much it. That's a dark age for MK. Let's do uh, Where Were like You From for 300. All right, Where Were You From? This crossover title was the first game that allowed Ryu to face off against characters from Marvel Comics. Say Jam. Was Marvel superheroes? Ooh, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Oh, really? I'm smoked. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I know. Lotus. I, I would have had to lose this. What is Marvel vs. Capcom? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's incorrect as well. Lord Knight, last chance. Mm, I'm a child. I don't know the question. All I right. The know. answer is uh, X-Men vs. Street oh, Fighter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Was, I knew it as soon as I was wrong. I was yeah, because like, Ryu wasn't in Marvel Super Heroes. Yeah, yada, right. yada, yada. Yeah. All right. I believe it's still your pick, Lord Knight. <laughs> Let's do Where Were You From for 500. You could dress your sack boy up as Ryu uh -huh. in this PlayStation platformer. Oh, no. no. Say Jam. What is Little Big Planet? That is correct. I didn't know that game was a platformer. I, I almost smoked myself. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no. I All right. Know. Yeah. Final Last question. clue here. This 1996 title was the first game to feature Evil Ryu as a playable character. <laughs> no one brave? <laughs> <laughs> no one no one brave enough okay lk what is, what is street fighter alpha 2 that is correct nice let's oh. go Whew. i was gonna say alpha go. 1 so i'm happy Whew. i didn't guess let's all right go. well we're about to go into double j empty but first we have another exciting new feature of uh, episode oh, no. 2 which is the interview segment <gasps> ah. i haven't i haven't briefed you guys on what i'm going to question you about so i'm really putting you on the spot but hopefully it's fine uh lord knight we'll start with you you're a cornerstone of the anime fighting game community, but something people may not know is that you got your start as a Smash player. We kind of mentioned yeah. that earlier. What would you say is the biggest difference between Smash tournaments versus traditional fighting game tournaments? The biggest difference between Smash tournaments and normal fighting game tournaments, 2D, 3D, whatever, is that they seed Smash locals. That's crazy. Oh, they seed locals? <laughs> yeah, they seed locals. <laughs> they seed, like, seven-man locals. They really do that. I used to think it was crazy back then. I was, like, 15. I'm like, why is this? Like, can't we just play? <laughs> like, I always thought that was crazy. Wow. Was I had no idea. That is really interesting. 
because they do you know they do the state power ranking. Uh, yeah, well, I also think like that the is four man bit, locals a little bit different yeah. than what I'm used that to. That thing is really serious, by the way. Yeah, I love people ranks, are hardcore about it. Okay, I'm hardcore about that too. Uh, well, that that's interesting to find out. Uh, moving on, say jam. You're well known for your commentary. If you could have anyone from inside or outside the FGC as a co-commentator, who would it be? Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, oh, you're going to put him on that spot. Oh, I mean, to, it, it could be anyone. You could, say, you could say Michael Jordan. I don't know. It could be anyone. You're going to have somebody text his phone in five minutes. I would, I would bring for the Street Fighter analyst desk at Capcom Cup, I would bring on Frank Ocean because he's a big Street Fighter fan. Oh, yeah. wow. That's yeah, a good his one. Twitter, his Twitter account before he deleted it was Yoga Flame. Actually. What? Does yeah. he ever watch tournaments or anything? I don't know, but I made a bunch of Frank Ocean references in top eight of Dragon Ball this year. <laughs> <You> definitely <laughs> for a kid, no matter for a kid one, move, I kept saying pink matter. Yeah. Legendary. Shit. Wow, that's awesome. Uh Lotus Asakura. See, a bunch of people gave me crap because I said Asakura, but obviously it's, it's Asakura. Okay. You're not the only one who does that, but I just let it rock because whatever. <laughs> We're not all <laughs> weeds. Uh I think the character you're most famous for playing has got to be Trunks, right? Yeah. How do you feel about Trunks in season three? And do you think that either of his new assists could replace the classic change the future? <clears throat> I feel like people drastically overrate. See, it's funny, right? First of all, I, I'm just the, the Trunks player with the largest follower. We have the far better Trunks player to the side. Okay, right but now. listen, I wrote this I question know, when Trunks maybe I didn't sick. know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it, it's just funny because like, you know, as a YouTuber and as a streamer and as somebody who's grown so much, I have so many people like, yo, you're the, you're the sickest Trunks I've ever seen. This is not I'm like, bro, everything I know about this character, I stole from Lord Knight and New Jersey <laughs> Sage. Like, I just copy all of their shit. But I think the character is really strong. He's even stronger in this season. Beam Assist is obviously really good, but I think people are overrating it just a little bit. But that being said, I've been running it this season. But Change the Future is also still like really, really good. And a lot of characters do like Change the Future. But I mean, I, I did I did always believe Beam is better, but I don't think I don't think like him getting a beam assist is what brings him up from like, you know, maybe A plus to like S tier or anything like that. Right. But it's I not like I, that's what he needed. Yeah, like I don't think it like made or 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 I don't think the character was like broken and that made him or fixed him or anything like that. So, but I, I think he is solid. And I hope to see a lot of people pick him up this season because a lot of people claim they go into it, but I feel like they all capping because they're gonna pick him up. Realize the character's not as easy as they thought. <laughs> like, this they is hard. Yeah, that's true. Definitely. And then, definitely. And then be like, you know what? Mm, I'm gonna just play someone else. <laughs> Let's just play GT instead. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, interview segment over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Damn, move on. That's what the hard question. Uh, dude, I came at I came at you guys hard. You got I'm impressed. You guys were on the spot and you dealt with it well. Nice work. But how well will you deal with this second set of categories here in oh, double J M? The first one not so well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we've got before and after. This category was the bane of our existence in the first version of this game. Uh, I'll explain it in a little bit. We have canonical move names, which also might require some explanation. <laughs> no! We've got fight of animals, crowdfunded combos, screenshots from the arcade, and K-Groove, where every response will begin with the letter K. Uh, and we have Lotus, you're in third, so you get to pick first. Uh canonical move names for 200 all right so the way this category is going to work is i'm going to tell you what most people call a move and you have to tell mm -hmm. me the real name so if i say ryu fireball the answer is hadoken it. it. it's over all right <laughs> we power activate chun li fireball i've already lost <laughs> i actually have no clue what lord Knight. Is called. what is kikoken uh that is correct nice work Damn. Canonical move names for 400. We're just going to stay uh, here. All Lead right. Trunks day. assist. I mean, we were just talking about it. I can I can hear the mashing. Lotus. No! <laughs> I can only assume you mean his original one. What is Change the Future? Yes, that is correct. This was written before selectable assists were a thing. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> nice work. Uh, your pick, Lotus. Uh, you know, it's crazy. I'm still in the negative. Canonical move names for 600. <laughs> All right, Adult Gohan level one up to level seven super. Lotus. What is potential unleashed? That is correct. Wow. I, had no I thought chance. that was an obscure one. I actually said that backwards. I would have gotten smoked. Yeah, I thought it was unlimited potential. <laughs> All right. yeah. canonical, canonical move names for 800. Blanca Ball from Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 4. It's not called Blanca Ball. Sage. <laughs> what is rolling attack? 
That is correct. Woo. Nice work. <laughs> I had no okay. idea. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, since there's only one question in the category, I'm going to run for my life and go to Fight of Animals 200. All right. This divine canine whips the competition in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Say Jam. <sighs> Who is Amaterasu? That is correct. Whew. Uh, I'll do Animals 400. This boxing kangaroo first appeared in Tekken 2. Tasty Steve. Lotus. Oh. Who was Roger? That is correct. <laughs> Claw your way back here. I like it. There's no way. I was mashing. I knew it. <laughs> I had no idea. I was like, who? There's a kangaroo in Tekken. Yeah, what? yeah. Tekken, <laughs> Tekken was all some bullshit in the first few games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gone was in Tekken 3. <laughs> shit. Right. Yeah. Dr. B laying on the floor. Mm -hmm. All right, your pick, Lotus. Uh, fight of Animals for 600. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Heritage oh. for the Future, allows you to play as this Boston Terrier with a fearsome stand called The Fool. Lotus? Who is Iggy? That is correct. Wow. I haven't finished part three yet, bro. Come on, man. I, was, I don't know. <laughs> Someone, so, someone's going to get mad that we weren't mashing on that. I'm not. I don't, I'm not that far. Uh, <laughs> fight of Animals for 800. Alrighty. This fighting game franchise where every character can transform into an animal hasn't had a new game since 2004. Lord Knight. What is Bloody War? That is correct. Damn it. Oh. I, I should have mashed. I, now, that's what I thought. I correct never me if I'm wrong. I still have I thought I heard an interview with you where you said that you used to play a lot of Bloody Roar. Is that correct? On my GameCube with my sister. And I was like, he's a smasher, oh, man. man. Come on, dude. I had it, I had it all. I had it all. All, all right. right. Ahead, I'm not Vic. scared. Fight for the animals for 100. 1,000. Oh, my God. All right. This Ooh. Killer Instinct character was created by combining the DNA of a human and Why a carnivorous dinosaur. <laughs> Sage, don't know shit about KI. Oh, my God. Sage, I was <laughs> <Liz Rip -Thor. laughs> That is correct. <laughs> We brought it. We brought in the Ki Ringer. Oh that was the, the pitch. Like, who knows? That question was made for him, <laughs> bro. You oh set God. me up. Oh, that was tight. Uh, I'll do canonical move names a thousand. Okay, with the level three. All DC right, Spencer's arm. And I'll warn you, this is a hard one. This is harder than you might think. <laughs> you mix me up by doing that. I know. I was scared. <laughs> I'm I'll so go ahead and tell you, it's not bionic arm, if that's what you were thinking. That's what I thought. I, that's, I was definitely about to click the buzzer. Uh, all right, we got no Coach guesses. Help me. All right, Nobody the knows. answer is bionic lancer. Oh, Jesus. No Christ. one has that ever is, called it that no in their way. life. But that's there's what the no move list way. calls it. See, that makes sense because, like, Bardock's gut punch that everybody calls bionic arm is tyrant lancer. I should have put oh, that together. That's nice logic. That's nice logic. I'm happy none of us got that because, like, yeah, that's that yeah, not real. All right, Sajam, you get to pick again. I'll do crowdfunded combos for 200. All right, this ultra simple fighting game held, helmed by David Serlin allows you to Yomi counter throws by completely letting go of the controls. Sajam. What is Fantasy Strike? That I'm is tight, correct. Dude, I want Evo for that game, man. Come on, bro. That's my game. <laughs> Fantasy <laughs> Strike I Evo champ. He didn't even game. know? Didn't even know? I knew I was matching. I know, I know. Uh, crowdfunded combos for 400. All right. Before launching a crowdfunding campaign, indie fighter Them's Fighting Herds was originally a fan game based on this Hasbro cartoon, Lord Knight. What is My Little Pony? That is correct. Okay. Yeah. I'm. Wow. That happened. Okay. Crowdfunding <laughs> combo for 600. All right. This half man, half saxophone was added as DLC to Skullgirls after a successful crowdfunding campaign. Lotus. Who is Big Ben? That is correct. How did you yeah. know? Have you, you play Skullgirls? Absolutely play not. I watch. I just watched the Killswitch play it. All oh right. wow! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kill, I, I will say though, Skullgirls seems like the the sickest game that I've never played. Man, yeah, I thought sick. that I thought that I had zero people who would know about Skullgirls on today. But nice work. I watch everything. Uh, screenshots from the arcade for two hundred. All right. This game, known for its combo breaker mechanic, was rebooted for Xbox One in twenty thirteen. Say jam. What is Killer Instinct? <laughs> All right, we'll give you two hundred for that one. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I guess that what obscure is... nugget that was... of knowledge. <laughs> what is screenshots from the arcade for four hundred? Oh, see now you're saying what is the category? To... Ah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this party game started out in arcades before being ported to Dreamcast the same year. Bruh. Excuse what me. You guys are gonna kick yourself when you hear the answer. 
Hold on, I'm gonna have to pull up your stream because uh, maybe I'll get a better idea of what the fuck I'm looking. <laughs> Oops, at. I hit I hit the wrong sound effect button. I meant to hit uh, this button. Oh, the answer is Power Stone. I oh. wait, I pressed. Oh, it. I don't oh, know what that is. I was gonna say it. Uh, I would okay, it's known. fine. Oh, it's your fine. ringing didn't go through. No, yeah, no, I pressed it, but then you said something else up. It's fine. Oh, we sorry about that. We hold that. It's all good. I would have had. I had no idea. I, uh, I think it's Lotus again. No, Sage. <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, screenshots from the arcade six hundred. Uh, hold on. Okay. This entry in the Fatal Fury franchise recently received a rollback netcode patch to its home console ports. Say jam. Damn. What is Garo Mark of the Wolves? That is correct. Oh, I streamed it. <laughs> I watched you stream it. <laughs> oh, packs. Oh, packs. I'm not going. Uh, we'll do screenshots for 800. Uh, okay. That is the first daily double of Double oh. J Empty. I'm tight. So you can uh, wager any amount up to 7,300. Uh, I'll you do you 700. 700. Okay. All right. This academic fighting game featured a guest appearance by Sakura from the Street Fighter series. What is Rival Schools? That is correct. <sighs> okay. I was a little, a little concerned. Now you uh, got it. We'll do screenshots for a thousand. This largely forgotten fighting game is best known for being the origin of Hayato, who later appeared in Marvel vs. Uh, Capcom 2. Lord Knight? What is Plasma Sword? Oh, I'm sorry. That is not correct. Uh, God damn it. You're in, you're in the right ballpark. I know. I have no idea. I know. I All know right. what it is. I'm the actual really answer is it. Star Gladiator. Oh, I was... Plasma Sword was the sequel. Oh, no. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. no. Hayato That's was in Star tough. Gladiator first. Sorry, that is, that is a hard one. That's tough. Uh, who picked that one? Say Jam? Me, yeah. All right, go ahead. You crowdfunded combos for 800. All right, this anime Air Dasher needed a little crowdfunding help to bring its Love Max six stars to a worldwide PC release. Lord Knight. What is Arcana Heart? That is correct. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, no, I, that's, don't that's, play that's, I don't play Zombie. That's, that's, yeah, matter. that sounds about Lord Knight. No, the no, anime no. guy. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Sounds, sounds about okay. Yeah, I heard so. the way you started mashing. I was like, oh, <laughs> You didn't know? I'm, not, I'm surprised you didn't know. No. Let's do before and after for 200. Let's slow this down. All bit. right, so to explain this category, <laughs> This one, everyone got tripped up by this one. It's kind of complicated. So the way before and after works is there's kind of two different clues and they lead into each other. The, the last part of the first clue is the first part of the last. So for an example, <laughs> last time, one of the clues was this Rose Dragon Ball character is also the ruler of Wakanda. And the answer is Goku Black Panther. Got, got oh. it? Get it? It's, it's going to be hard, but we'll get through it together, guys. Oh, I, I see. I see. Okay. Dalsim's slow-moving projectile is too hot to handle for the likes of Marth and Roy in this tactical RPG franchise. Yoga Fire. What is Yoga Fire Emblem? Those that is correct. Yoga yes. Fire Emblem. Uh, yes. I'm going to. Oh, that's it. That was okay. me. Yeah. So that, one, that one was actually just me. <laughs> <laughs> you put Fire Emblem. Uh, in the he had, yeah. let's, let's do a before and after for 400. I got too hyped for that one. All right. Terry always asks, are you okay? Before delivering Yamcha's signature three-part special move. Lord Knight. What is Buster Wolf Fang Fist? That is correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is harder than you think it would be. Okay. Yeah, it, it's hard. hard. It, it takes a lot of time. So, like, is it really that yeah, hard? You're not making it look very difficult. I'm mad, but uh, damn. Let's do before and after for 600. All right. This fighting game that lets you play as prehistoric dinosaurs and apes would have been made better by Tekken's cinematic comeback mechanic. <laughs> this is a tricky one. A fighting game that lets you play as prehistoric dinosaurs and apes it was like three. would be made better by Tekken's cinematic comeback mechanic. All right, we are out of time. It is Primal Rage Art. Oh, oh Primal man. Rage Art. Stuck on Bloody Roar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right, your sense. pick again, Lord Knight. Let's do, let's do K Group for 200. Okay, once again, every response will start with the letter K. This Dragon Ball Fighter's character can burn a meter to throw two rocks at his opponent. Lord Knight? Who is Krillin? That is correct. If you said that's not correct, I'd be really angry. Yeah, <laughs> like, no. Uh, the pause really no. shook me. Like, what? <laughs> I can feel uh, his eyes get big. He's like, what you mean? Are you falling <laughs> down? Uh, K grew for 400? Arslan Ash won Tekken at Evo using this character, who is Kazuya's mother. Lord Knight? Damn. Who is Kazumi? Uh, that is correct. 
The only character I know in Tekken. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. K group for six. Man, Sage, we miss you on Tekken commentary, by the way. I'm going to just say that. Oh, man. It's been a while. <laughs> this is the name of Dan's Rising Uppercut, a parody of the Shoto's Dragon Punch. No? Mm -hmm. No, Sage? No, no love for Dan? I no. mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Uh, the answer is Koryukin. Oh, I, 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 I knew it was that. I'm tight. I thought it was, I was going to say Koryukin, so I'm happy. I was like, I don't know, man. Doesn't sound I'm, right. I'm actually tight. That's what it is. Yeah. All that right, Lord Knight, your pick again. No, Before please, and after no. for 800. Yun's powerful install super when used by Kazuya's son, the protagonist of the Tekken series. Say jam. Gene Jin Kazama. Could you try that again? What is Gene ah! Jin Kazama? <laughs> All right. I didn't want to I didn't want to let you lose I points for the what is. I was like was I was one. so hyped about the answer, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I was, no, he's, he's so just so sick, sick that he figured that it out. That is such a that is such a sick clue actually. Damn. Dude, uh -huh. I feel that though. I know, I know how you feel about that. This, this whole category is sick. This, this, this category is hurting my head. They are so, so hard. hard to write. Let me tell you, these are oh, so yeah. hard to write. Dude, right, I don't know how you come up with these. That's impossible. Uh, I'll do before and after a thousand. All right, this Marvel vs. Capcom three brawler, nicknamed Jenny from the Block, made their return in the WWE 2020 game after a six year hiatus. Brother, say jam. Who is she? Hulk Hogan. That oh. is correct. Oh, wow, you guys got all that the before and after. You know, Ringe will be so proud of me for that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> just popping off. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll do crowdfunded combos for a thousand. All right. This crowdfunded Japanese title notably included in game commentary performed by people like Ultra David, James Chen, and Maximilian. What Lord is Yadagarasu? Damn it. That is correct. He was oh. saying it before I, <laughs> before I even called on him. Nice. Okay. I was mashing from the start. Uh, let's do K Guru for a thousand. Oh, that is gonna be our last daily double here. If I can Ooh. find the sound effect, there we go. So, how much would you like to wager before we see the clue here? Mm, let's do two thousand. Two oh thousand. I know Big scare. Baller. I know, know scare. All right. This Japanese player <laughs> oh won Capcom oh, Cup twenty fifteen no! with Yun, and then That's, a few years later no! won the first Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour. You can't buzz is, in, Lotus. This I'm gonna do it anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh this is some BS, bro. Why is this a thousand? You wanna know why it's a thousand? Because this person goes by many names, but the one we're looking for is who is Kazunoko Combos. Boo! That is correct. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my Boo. god. Boo! I'm 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 smelling. I'm supposed to sort of collusion. No collusion. No collusion. No collusion. Listen, I thought I don't know. I don't know. Somebody didn't know that. Damn, so a thousand. One Somebody didn't two know biggest that. Biggest achievements in life, and we're all Dragon Ball players. What do you mean? Yeah. All right, last. Cl I didn't see. I wrote these without any players in mind. I didn't know who the guests oh were going to be. God. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the last clue. This King of Fighters character's name can be spelled with only one letter and one punctuation mark. Say jam. <sighs> Who is K Dash? That is correct. Wow. All right. We're we're about to go to final jam pretty here, but first let's oh, take man. a look at the scores. We've got uh, Say Jam say with a, a a close lead at ten thousand six hundred. Lord Knight with eighty nine hundred. Lotus bringing up the rear with twenty one hundred. You're not out of it yet, Lotus, because if they uh -huh. if they bet big trying to one up each other, you could undercut <clears> and and take it. So it's enter, fun, enter your wagers before, before you submit your wagers, by the way, let me tell you the category. I hope you haven't submit them yet. The category is the history of Evo, the history of Evo. Oh man. So put in your wagers. Let me know once you got them locked in. Oh, fuck it. <clears throat> All right, and once again, you're going to put in your answers on your buzzer as well. All right, it's time. Before changing its name in 2002, the Evo tournament oh. was originally known by this name. All right, they're Ooh. putting in their answers. The only thing is I expect them to both also know this. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little shook, but... Oh, wait, maybe, I, maybe one of those words I just put in was actually wrong. I think it might have been whatever. I was going to lose regardless. <laughs> All right, are we waiting on Say Jam? Wait, okay, there yeah, we go. Yeah, I locked in. We're all locked in. All right, mm -hmm. we'll start. I was scared. We'll start with uh, Lotus because he had the lowest score. 
He answered Battle by the Bay, which is correct. Nice work. Next up, we'll move on to Lord Knight, who was in second. He answers the B series. Ooh. That's what they called. That's what they called it. Oh, I, mean, I guess that's... B five. Uh, I think we gotta it's talk. I think we gotta talk to the judges on se. this one. Hold on. I'm gonna... <laughs> We're gonna have to. That's really. You called it evil. The torrent's called evolution. Um. These got you there. Write out Dude. the whole name. Yeah, I know what you mean. This is All gonna right. be really contentious. All right, we'll allow it. <laughs> we'll allow it. Okay. That's tough. The answer, <laughs> listen, the that's answer funny. I was, the answer I was looking for was Battle by the Bay, but since, you know, they did B3, they did B4, B5, and B5 and I evil. think we'll allow the B series. I, that, that, that's fine. Damn, all right. y'all smell all that collusion going on? There's no collusion. collusion. That's collusion. crazy. Sajan, let's see what he answered. Battle by the Bay. Okay. Sajan got it. So let's this. factor in <laughs> these ways. Battle by the Bay. B3, B3 specifically. You literally wrote B. B3 was the first one, but yeah. B3 was the first one, the B series. All right. Let's see who won with the big wagers. Oh, I, I saw my face. It's AJ. Oh, oh, shit. What? what? <laughs> you must have bet a lot, huh? Let's. I bet $29.99. Wow. These were oh, relatively. I was just ahead. These oh, were relatively I conservative wagers. Sajam won by less than 200. I bet Sweet. everything I had. By less than 200. <laughs> I got it right. smart to bet everything, but it didn't it. pay off. Oh, my Sweet. God. This no, was I I... a shockingly close JM pretty. My mind is blown. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. This went, oh, exactly, this went exactly how I expected it to go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would get murdered, honestly. I thought I was going to lose for sure. Nah, I, you were definitely my pick to win. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried. LK started rallying. I was like, yeah, LK had, he did really well I'm in double tight. JM pretty. I'm really tight. Uh, it's okay. You get it. You get it. You get it. <laughs> combo it's fine Damn, all right that was close well <laughs> first once again let me thank my three contestants here sejam lord knight lotus asakura i'm gonna be linking hey. all their twitches youtubes all that nonsense hey. in the description when this goes up on youtube make sure to sub to them and all that good stuff sejam for winning once again we'll be getting five free gift subs hope you enjoy those and uh real quick let me just do some credits i'd like Thanks to thank a couple, couple people like, who couple helped me put to this together <laughs> Uh, first of all, my friend Moonin at Dats Moonin on Twitter. Follow him if you like uh, trolling on Twitter. He helped me write a lot. And then my other friend Double A at Big Two X A on Twitter. <laughs> Check out his YouTube channel, Brain Genius Academy. I really cannot overstate how I could not have done this without those two guys. So thank you so much to them, and uh, thanks again to the players. That's going to do it for the stream. Thank you, everybody, and uh, have a good night.